Hi everyone! I'm getting my game open. <laughs> I'm very excited because we get to play Animal Crossing this morning. And I like Animal Crossing. This game brings me large amounts of joy. <laughs> so hi, welcome. Let me just fix the command. I just realized before I went live that I didn't fix the bot command, so let me do that. Um, we're working on our new yellow Animal Crossing island. I don't know. As long as it doesn't have the shell tours information, because we are in fact not doing shell challenge tours right now. <laughs> yeah, gold elbows, we got to 315,000 rays yesterday. I cannot believe that. Like, actually cannot believe that. But anyway, um, we're playing some Animal Crossing. We got a lot of work to do, because <laughs> there's nothing on the island, so... <laughs> um, I think we named our character Banana. I am fairly certain. That is my character's name. <laughs> there isn't any news today. Okay, sure. Oh no, wait, the island is named Banana. I think we named the character Sunny. Sorry, I like misunderstood the question. My island is named Banana. My character is named Sunny. Which I think is cute. <laughs> Do you know what? It has not been Sunny the past couple days. It's been nightmarishly stormy the past couple days, which actually is a relief because it didn't really storm or rain at all for a while. And now all of a sudden it's like, oops, it's summer in Florida <laughs> and the storms are back, uh, which is actually kind of fun. But anyway, sorry, I'm a minute and a half late. Oh my goodness, Cherry, what were we going to do without you? <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. It's good to see you. I'm in the Sims category. Am I? Oh no. I didn't switch it! Oh no! Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. I changed the title. Why didn't I change- is that the wrong Animal Crossing category? Oh my god, I'm like messing up constantly. Okay, New Horizons. How did I manage that? I changed the title! <laughs> the title says Animal Crossing! <laughs> well, this is actually not The Sims 4. Believe it or not. Um, this is actually not The Sims 4. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, let's, uh, figure out what we were up to. And, oh, wooden mini table, there you go. We'll get everything back together. Um, was I able to catch up on some sleep? Do you know what, Spork? I have, I think that doing that 24-hour stream has really caused me some problems. <laughs> Because I've never been so tired in my life the past couple days. I went to bed at like 11 o'clock last night, which I probably should have gone to bed earlier. Because um, I was working on the letters again. <laughs> uh, but it's fine. It's fine. It was fun. The stream was fun. It's just like... We got a lot to worry about now. <laughs> and I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Um, let me get kind of back together here with what we've been up to. We're trying to like speed through, oh my gosh, the villagers' houses are built. This is fun. I am a functional member of society. You got this, Jess, you got this. You'll get through it, I believe, I believe. Um, aw, look at you. Bill, you got your own house. <laughs> anyway, Bill's one of my starters. Tiny, I gotta be honest. I don't know. People keep asking if we're gonna do Minecraft crowd control again, and here's the thing. I would love to. I would so love to play Minecraft crowd control. But the amount of pain and stress that it not working caused me last week, I literally cried about that for so long. <laughs> I was like sitting at my desk. I've never been so stressed. I'm like, why isn't it working? I can't figure it out. I The amount of like, um, pain that went into trying to get it to work and then it not working <laughs> is so so bad so i don't know oh that's cute actually i don't know i don't know because i don't want to commit to it and be like we're gonna do it and then have it not work again because i literally don't know how to i don't know why it wasn't working i couldn't figure it out <sighs> i would love to play crowd control minecraft it's so fun and it like is so good it just um but anyway stress <laughs> 
Emma and Lexi, thank you for the donation to St. Jude. Lexi has donated some birthday money again this year. And Zachary with the $150 to St. Jude, who says best way to celebrate my birthday. Is it both of your birthdays? That's so fun. Um, that's so, so, so fun. Okay. Um, so you missed it. What are we doing? What's the theme? Yellow. Just yellow. Yeah, we're gonna play Sims 2 later. That's the plan. That is the plan. Um, okay, let's go run around and try and pick some stuff up, shall we? Shall we? Um, <laughs> you were watching the 24 hour stream, that was a massive jump scare? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I appeared live and scared you. Um, Anonymous with the $5 to St. Jude. Uh, Francisca with the, with the $150 donation to St. Jude. Oh my god, you passed uh, the last exam. For, for your bachelor's, that's amazing. Congratulations, thank you for that huge donation. I'm so, so happy for you. Um, that's so exciting. What great news. <laughs> what absolutely great news. Um, is Sims 2 be able to buy anywhere these days? No, so they stopped selling it on Origin, the EA app, you know, whatever. Um, Cause there's something to do with them losing the rights to some like, processor or something. I don't really, um, I don't remember the specifics, but they can't sell it anymore. They have a different version of it on Mac that's on the Mac app store. Um, but it's not sold on PC anymore. You can acquire it. Um, if you know what I mean. Uh, and you can also, uh, you can also find a lot of times like secondhand copies of the d the physical game, like uh, like disc versions of the game. You can find it like thrift stores and stuff sometimes. Um, so that's that's another way. But um, there's uh, you can find like physical copies on Amazon probably, but you can also find like secondhand ones that may be a little bit cheaper. Um, or you could acquire it. <laughs> If you know what I mean. <laughs> um, anyway, I need to go make um, some tools. It's on Amazon for $50? What, like the base game? Don't buy that. I'm serious, don't buy that. L Google, how do I get The Sims 2? You know, see if you can find it for free. If you know what I mean. <laughs> um, anyway, is my dad shaving his head today? We actually shaved my dad's head last Friday on stream. The, the day that we did the um, the Sims trivia challenge, we did that. So, okay. Um, Justice, uh, day 24 of a dollar a day for St. Jude. They said, I am not a morning person. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you for the donation. And Alex with the donation as well. Thank you guys so much. Um, Oh, money. Yay. This is helpful. Very, very helpful. Who's Tilly? <laughs> Tilly's one of the mods. Um, you'll see Tilly in the chat. Um, the goal is a specific number because how much money we raised last year. Um, so it's, it seems random, but it's actually not. It's the amount of money we raised last year, so. Um, <laughs> Twiggy uh, is your ugly birthday buddy and her house is yellow. She would be a perfect addition to your banana island. That's not a bad idea, actually. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that one. Um, all right, let's craft. I would like to, oh, that was not the right one. I wanted the flimsy one. There we go. Better. Very better. Oh, thanks for coming by, small potato. I'll see you later. Um, all right, and I shall make also a tree, a flimsy net, I mean. Yeah, Eerie, I wouldn't get Freckles because Freckles is not yellow. Freckles is my bestie, favorite, one of my favorite villagers of all time, but I wouldn't get Freckles on this island because I've got Freckles on my other island. Um, her house is not appropriate, or her, her, I'm sorry, her, she is not appropriate <laughs> for this island because she's not yellow. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, I'm very picky. <laughs> Georgina, thank you for the $20 donation to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, Shari Peahands, I've considered her. 
I don't really know who we'll get. I guess we have a lot of time to um, figure that out. We're still working on... We don't even have a shop yet, you know? I should get bow. I used to have bow back in the day. Um, I kind of want to get some weirder villagers, you know? But we'll see. <laughs> Where's the link to donate? Oh, uh, can we pin that mods in the chat again? Is it pinned? Or is the poll covering it? I think that it was not pinned. Um, let me grab all of these things. Get Graham. Yeah, I think I will. I would like them to have yellow. I would like the villagers to be yellow and their house to be yellow. Yeah. We'll see kind of how it goes. Um, but I'm not, I haven't really decided who I want yet. That's not really been a, there, I'm going to probably like see how I feel, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Megan, thank you for the $40. Oh my gosh. Thanks for giving me the idea to reset my island last week. I hadn't played in probably a year and now you're playing without time traveling. The grind is fun. Oh, I'm so glad. That's great. I'm glad. Um, and hey, Arden, thank you for the $20 to say to you too. Thank you so much. Um, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Drop in. If we do the expansion, we can just change the house. Yeah, actually, that's not... People said that last time with my green island, and I never got to that point. Because <laughs> I didn't prioritize it. So, um, I would prefer to, to, like, think about their default houses when we're, when we're doing it. So, um, that's, that's my goal. I think I'm going to get Benjamin. I, Benjamin, I would consider to be a, a great enemy of mine. <laughs> Um, I, I let him, uh, come to my island from a campsite once, and I did it, and immediately regretted it so much that I cried. <laughs> I had Lopez, and then I was like, oh, I'll let Benjamin replace Lopez from the campsite, and then I regretted it so much that I cried. So I think Benjamin would be a great fit for this island. <laughs> Max, you had your last exam today, and you uh, and it went really well. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Um, we got Alicia as well. Thank you so much. You guys are all great. Thank you. Um, all right. Let's go in here and donate a couple things, shall we? Shall we? Um, okay. Um, I would like to assess fossils. This one, this one. Look up Willow. I would very much like to, um, I would very much like to have Willow. Um, Willow is a top on my list for me. <laughs> I really like Willow. Uh, okay, let me make a couple donations too. This, oh, you have to do it one by one. Oh my God. I forgot about that. Um, okay. Um, I don't want to hear about it. It's so annoying. Um, back in the, uh, <laughs> early days of Animal Crossing, I used to donate, like, individually. Um, okay. Let's try this, too. <laughs> Planning to get Pietro? No, not on this island. I have Pietro on my other island, so I don't really want to get Pietro on this one. Um, I love Pietro, but, <laughs> uh, I don't want to have the same villagers on, like, both my Switches. You're not playing Sims? No, we're playing Animal Crossing. We're gonna play Sims later, though. Um, we're gonna stream twice today. Um, okay. Let's see. I require, acquire the number of donations. Okay, good. So we've got, we've got enough to build a museum. That's a relief. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kate, thank you for the $20 to say to you, too. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, okay. So we've got that sorted. Um, I'm gonna go check the, um, the shops, too. What about chatter? That's a thought as well. I, I've, it's been on the list. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have, like, a specific like, small list of villagers, um, but, um, there's, like, a, I don't know, probably about, like, 20, 
<laughs> that I would probably be okay with getting. And we'll kind of see how it goes once we're, once we're like actually hunting, you know? Um, okay, I want to check the shop too. What do you have for sale today? Um, I don't know. What kind of flowers do we have? Orange windflower, yellow rose, white lily. Mm. No, not interested. Seems we're going to hunt and just take any yellow ones. That's kind of how we'll probably do it early days. Mythic is like when we're hunting. Um, I have a couple that are probably like really like Willow, for example, is really high on my list. I had Eloise for a while on my other island and I love her. So Eloise is kind of high on my list. I think it would be hilarious to have like coach. <laughs> um, but uh, there's not really like, I'm, I'm open to, um, I didn't mean to do that. I'm open to, um, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh my God, I'm trying, okay, sorry, bear with me. I'm open to seeing what comes my way, you know? <laughs> Cypress plant, oh, these are kind of cute. <gasps> Yellow. Okay, that's good. That is good. Um, <laughs> Ava's the yellow chicken. That's true, Ava's an option too. Um, yeah, Renee, we got to 315,000 yesterday. I know, I actually cannot believe it. Uh, we got Nikki with the $10 in honor of your best friend, Taylor. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that donation to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. Um, Goldie, that's true, Goldie's a good option. Egbert is also, I think Egbert is probably one of my top on my list as well. I think Egbert is a silly one. So I would like to get Egbert too. <laughs> <laughs> um, why are you talking about other animals? We're, uh, well, the, the goal in Animal Crossing, people ask this question, I don't know how to answer it, because this game is very open-ended, um, but, uh, it's very much like decorate and build up your island, and you get, like, ten villagers to live here, um, and we're kind of talking about what ten ones we would like to have, you know? Um, okay. Let's have an all anteater island. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> the anteaters are some of my least favorites. I really am not a fan of the anteaters. Oh, we're almost done getting the stuff that we need for the um the shop. Nice. Um one second. Okay, um, okay, let me get this little fishy while I'm here. Despise the anteaters and chickens, really? I'm okay with the chickens. I really hate the anteaters and the eagles are like my least favorite ones, I think. Oh, wow. New, <laughs> exciting. Have I decided on a theme yet? Yeah, just yellow. I'm literally gonna try and make this entire island all yellow everywhere. <laughs> I guess Annabelle, oh, Hope. How could you bring that up? Annabelle is a yellow anteater. It could be, it could be an idea. I can consider it. I already had that one. That's new. Shame we don't have banana trees. I know, wouldn't that be so fun if we had like an actual banana tree in this game? We don't. Very sad. Not in New Horizons. She's made of bricks though. Yeah, Annabelle's kind of a weird one. <laughs> Annabelle is kind of weird. Um, or if we had lemon trees, yeah, I know. I wish that we did. It's such a, so sad that we don't. Um, is there even a reason for that, by the way? Like the lack of trees? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I do have a yellow airport, yeah. <laughs> we got what we wanted there. We got the yellow airport that I wanted. Um, so that was a win. Okay, let me finish getting this little rock. Okay. Ah! Imagine you go hunting and the first one you encounter is Carrie. Oh my God. I, there, you could not pay me enough to get a kangaroo. I do not like the kangaroos. I really find them scary. 
There's something about him that is just not okay. <laughs> I do not like it. Oh, we could make a lemonade stand. Oh my gosh, Gloomy. I think you're onto something with that. That's a good idea. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. Okay. Okay. We got some plans. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Okay. Um, I haven't been over on this side of the beach yet, actually. <laughs> Oh, we can have a giant wheat field too. That's yellow. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Let me catch this little tiny fish. Then you have to have a duck so it can walk up to the lemonade stand. Oh my god. We might need to. <laughs> we might need to. That's a fun idea. We can have Joey and then we can have uh, Joey run a lemonade stand. There you go. <laughs> that would be so cute. I can't catch this fish. There we go. We'll put a lemonade stand like outside in front of his house. Okay, you know what? Joey's like top of the list right now, I've decided. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's go and, oh. Hello, Nook Miles. Is there lemonade in the game? Um. There's probably like some little fake drinks that we can put up that we can make look like it. I don't remember if there is lemonade specifically, but I don't know. Okay, let me put a couple of these fish that I need to donate down. Victoria? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I'll think about it, Hope. We can maybe get a horse. Just for you. Can you lemonade, but you're not sure? Yeah, and at the very least, we'd be able to get like a custom design for the stall that looks like lemonade. And then, um... Oh, I don't have the... Dang it! I won't be able to get that because I don't have my thingy on me. I can't make one. Now I'm sad. Why did I not use the money tree? What do you mean? I planted it. I didn't put like extra bells in there, but I planted it. So. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, I'd like to sell you a couple things, my friend. I want to sell. Specifically, these little guys. Money trees are yellow, oh my god. <laughs> That's an idea. No lemonade, but there are iced lemon teas. Yeah, there's enough like drinks and stuff that I think we'd be able to um, pick something, I don't know. We'll, we'll be able to find stuff. Okay, what did I want to come here to make? Oh, I wanted a flimsy ax. That's right. That's right. Um, the native fruit is bells. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Um, what else did I want to make here? I know I don't have the thing used to craft a slingshot, but there's something else that I was like, oh, I'll make that when I get. And I don't remember. Oh well, I can't craft that many things, so. I could get chatter. Yeah, we've been talking about chatter. Definitely an option. <laughs> okay, can I buy. Um. I might just get a slingshot quickly. Just to carry around with me. Make a whole field of money trees? Yeah. Yeah, Hope, I think that Mira is also a good option. I think Mira would be kind of fun too, so. I don't know. I'm gonna really enjoy the hunting for this island, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna have a good time with this one. Um, all right, put that up there. Let's go chop some wood and then we'll be able to build the the shop. What color is the airport? Oh, it's yellow. I reset until I got a yellow one. Or Tammy. Oh gosh, I guess that's true. Tammy's an option as well. <laughs> I 
I got pears and oranges, MV. Pears and oranges. I think I'm gonna try and put, I think I'll do peaches instead. Like I'll pretend that my native fruit is peaches um, when I replace all these trees. Cause the peaches I think will, um, they're not yellow necessarily, but they're like more yellow vibes than the other ones. So, I don't know. It's the best we can do. <laughs> I like Eloise Effective. I had El Eloise for a little bit on my other Switch. Um, I don't have her anymore, but I had her for a little bit. Yeah, the peaches have like a touch of yellow, exactly. They're not like yellow, but they've got a little bit of yellow. So, it'll have to do. <laughs> I don't think I like the pears. I had, because the, the island that we reset was my all green island. So I had pears on the all green island. So I feel like I've like been there, done that with the pears. <laughs> so it kind of makes me want to try something else, you know? Um, yeah, we talked about Marty the Sanrio villager. I thought that could be kind of a fun idea too. So we'll have to think about that. And we could use an amiibo for that. So then we could have it um, early days, you know? Without having to hunt. <laughs> Even if we had Marty as like a temporary, you know? But that could be kind of fun because I haven't played with the Sanrio villager for a long time, so. Um, hey Faye, with a $20 donation to St. Jude. Uh, and we got designer May, uh, who says it wouldn't be a donation for me if I didn't say Dollar Tree. Well, thank you so much, designer May. Dollar Tree's not a bad idea, actually, chat. We're getting really close to $316,000 raised for St. Jude. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, broken. Broken. Um, oh, Shan, don't restart. You got this. If you only got it two days ago, you're just starting out. You've got loads of time. You gotta get through the early game before you can really start playing. So I wouldn't restart if you're only two days in. You got this. You got this. Um, double stream day? Yeah, we're gonna play The Sims 2 later, which will be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Um, all right, let me grab this stuff. And then I shall put some of these extras away. Like you, and you, and you, and you. And then we can go build the shop. Yay, <laughs> finally. Um, can't believe we found Wart last time. I know, last week we finally got Wart. Oh, best day of my life. I was so excited. Um, Somebody say Dollar Trade with the dollar. We got Kay who says Dollar Trade. Oh my gosh, thank you for the donations. Um, thank you so much. You recently got Animal Crossing for your birthday, so me resetting my island is good timing. Oh, that's fun. Um, the goal, Dorothy, that's how much money we raised last year. It looks like a random number, but it's, <laughs> it's how much money we raised last year, so. Um, all right, sell those oranges. I got Nook Miles from that too. Yay! I'm trying to like, we kind of need to grind for Nook Miles a little bit. Um, just because uh, we need to get through this. Um, Wart was found? Yeah, we found Wart, um, yeah, last week in the middle of resetting. Um, we finally found him. I like was resetting this island and I was trying to update it. So I left it for a sec to let it update and went and played on my other Switch. And then it, uh, we found Wart. So, I got stuff. Yay! <laughs> Selkie the tuxedo cat who loves staring at Snap whenever she's on screen. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me that. And Paris who says, did you say Dollar Train? Thank you. Cab, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. That's so exciting. We got a planter, a pink playroom wall, and a tiger print flooring. Oh my god. Oh my god, Liz with the $10 to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Do you know what? I actually didn't end up making banana bread last night, Moosey. I probably should do it today though, huh? Because I didn't end up making it last night. Do you know what? I'm gonna do something kind of silly to make my own life easier. I'm gonna put the shop on the beach if I can fit it somewhere. Maybe I won't be able to fit it somewhere. No, I'll just put it next to my house. I was just thinking that like, 
it would be easier for me when I'm trying to redo everything, but it's gonna be easier for me when I'm playing to have it next to my house, so. Um, oh, you're fine, Cabbage. We kind of just have a, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, we just sort of like delete people talking about their age uh, as like a blanket rule because we're trying to avoid minors talking about their age. It's like not a problem if adults talk about their age, uh, but we, we kind of try to like lead by example by not bringing it up, you know? Um, but it's okay. There's no nothing wrong with it. It's just like the mods delete it because we're trying to lead by example a little, you know? But you didn't do anything wrong. It's no big deal. Um, just don't want the little ones to talk about it, so. <laughs> Jamie, thank you for the 169 to St. Jude. Oh my god, you reset your island after 1060 hours and you have no idea what to name it. You're going for a fairy slash cottage core theme and any help would be appreciated. Chat, now's our time to shine. Do you got any ideas? Fairy cottage core theme for their island? Names? Okay, chat's got probably gonna give you a bunch, so here we go. <laughs> Um, hey, uh, we got one fifty dollar train wagon. Uh, thank you so much, uh, a Adam mommy with the donation who loves Bo. I like Bo too. I had Bo for a while. Uh, we got Cora and Icy Flame all aboard. Thank you everybody so much. <laughs> um, I really really appreciate that. Thank you everybody. Um, okay, let me grab this too. I got a recipe. Iron Garden Bench! That's a good one. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of good suggestions in chat there. I think Dandelion's actually really cute. Sleeping bag. I need one of those, to be honest. <laughs> we got like a campsite going on. Um, okay. All is well. Did this too, you slightly regret it? Yeah, I, um... I don't know, resetting was scary to me. <laughs> The recipes, that's the thing. It's like fun to play a little bit of early game stuff, but once you start wanting to decorate and you have nothing, less good. Less good. <laughs> Hi, Christine. How are you? Um, yeah, I don't know. I always like warn people about it because I see so many people. There's like two camps when it comes to resetting. And it's like some people will come into chat and be like, Oh my god, I reset and it was the greatest thing ever because I haven't played Animal Crossing in, like, months. And I reset and now I've got all this inspiration again and I'm having so much fun playing for the first time in ages. And so some people, like, have a really good experience resetting and it's, like, good for them, makes them want to play again. And other people regret it and they're like, oh my god, now my island's ruined. Um, so you just gotta be, like, really sure of how it's gonna affect you. But if you're kind of in an Animal Crossing slump, it might actually help to reset, kind of give you a fresh chance to play. But I was too attached. Like, I will never reset my other Switch. I will never reset it. I'm way too attached to it to reset it. Um, but no, you can't have different save files, Grob. Not in, not in New Horizons. So that's why it's such, like, a ordeal. <laughs> it's because you can't just have, like, a different save file. Um, it, you only have the one, so probably kind of bored of the early gameplay. Yeah, that's the problem. It does get like, you, you get kind of antsy to get to the next stuff, you know? Um, okay, let's place this tiger print flooring. <gasps> Yay! Oh, fun. Okay, good. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, okay, okay. Uh, Jess, thank you for the dollar. We got Dr. Bobby with the $32 for your birthday. Happy birthday! Uh, Mag with the $5 for your foster kittens, Willow Ivy in August. Oh, beautiful names. Thank you all for the donations to St. Jude. Um, thank you so much. All right, let's go to the next day so we can get the, um... Let's, uh, go get to the next day so we can get this ready. Seeing early gameplay has made you not want to buy Animal Crossing? Really? What about it is, like, not interesting to you? That, like, honest question. I'm so curious to hear, like, what, what is that your, what, what part of the early gameplay has turned you off from it? Um, I say this because I love this game so much. <laughs> I, like, I think it's so fun. Um, 
but it's, I mean, everybody's got different preferences, you know? So that's so interesting. Um, hunting for Diana right now. Oh, cool. That's fun. Um, you don't like the grind? Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't really think that, um, Animal Crossing is such a weird game because like, I don't think it's as grindy as a lot of other games are. Like, it's so, I think because it's like real time and stuff, um, it's so like, it's calm. You just pop in and out for a little bit, you know? Um, I think it's less grindy than a lot of other games are. So, um, but the waiting for things to be done, I think, is kind of a huge downside for a lot of people, which is why, um, I just time travel, <laughs> you know, I just went to the next day. <laughs> Instead of waiting for my museum to be done tomorrow, I just came to today. <laughs> so, um, all right. Oh my god, you're talking so much. Are you done? 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 Okay. I think tomorrow is ready, not today. Well, the museum is not done today, um, but I think the shop should be done today. We have both. So. <laughs> We got a lot going on. Okay, load. Load. Hurry up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yay! My first day in the store! Look at how tiny it is. I'm so excited. You know what, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that I've encouraged you to not reset. That's a relief. <laughs> Santiago the dog who stole your mom's credit cards donated to the children instead of buying yourself treats. Very generous dog. Very generous dog. <laughs> okay. Good job talking. Thank you. Thank you. Did the pin go away? See? Or did I like hide it? Can we pin that one with the like short message if it's not already pinned. I think that it might have like expired or something. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Yay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think that the pin must have timed out. Says me for the entire stream. Oh, weird, Jess. I don't know. Twitch. Who knows? Um, oh, the chat got cleared. I guess that's true. <laughs> Jenna, thank you for the dollar to say, dude, also. Thank you so much. Oh, <gasps> yellow! Yes. Yes. Exciting. I want this yellow phone, too. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we want all yellow everywhere on this Switch, so... I'm very excited about that. And now we can go buy um, some like plants as well. Oh, that I think I don't have that bug yet. Yay! Oh, maybe I did have that bug. I don't know. Will I play the new Story of Seasons game when it comes out? Oh, I've played a bunch of the Story of Seasons games recently. I don't know, um, when does it come out? It's hard because I have literally so much going on the next couple months. <laughs> we'll see. I don't want to commit because there's like 50 games I want to play. Um, oh, hi, Daisy Mae. Thank you. Nook shopping. Yay, thank you. Your Animal Crossing streams are my main source of happiness. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that I can be there for you. What's the island name? I call it Banana. How do you meet me at VidCon? What day is it on and where? Uh, Twitch Sim, VidCon is at, uh, it's in Anaheim uh, at the end of June. Um, I will say that I think the meet and greet lottery that system that they did to like organize who gets the meet and greets is over already. Um, 
because the VidCon itself is in like a month. Um, but you'd have to look into it. Um, but it's in California in the end of June. So, um, hey, Amelia, thank you for the $5. Thank you so much. Um, okay, oh my goodness. Um, let's see. I would like to buy things. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Luke with the $2. Um, thank you so much. Um, Amelia with $5, Kit Kat, Charlotte. Um, thank you all for the donations again. We did it in the UK, uh, VidCon? I think they had a VidCon London a couple years ago. <gasps> Wheat! Oh my gosh. We're gonna start getting our plants growing. That's exciting. Oh my goodness, and Claire just got paid. What a better way to celebrate than donating to St. Jude. Claire, thank you so much. Thanks to you, my friend. We just passed $316,000 raised for St. Jude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> VidCon is in Paris this year. Oh wow. Wait, VidCon's in Paris and TwitchCon's in Paris? I guess that's cool. I'm not able to go to TwitchCon Paris this year, annoyingly. Um, I've got too much going on. Um, and then I can't even, Dan's, uh, one of Dan's best friends is getting married. Is it, I forget if it's the weekend before or after TwitchCon Paris, but one of Dan's best friends is getting married right around TwitchCon Paris. And um, I can't even go to that, only Dan can go. <laughs> I feel bad, I feel bad. Um, but yeah, unfortunate timing, but. Um, did I hear Dollar Train for your little sister in treatment? Thank you so much. Uh, and Azarinth, uh, who's moving out, congrats, that's exciting. Um, I'm really proud of you, that's great news. Um, all right, let's go. You're getting married in Paris in August? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! Congratulations to you too. Um, all right, I'm gonna buy some little flowers. I'll probably buy some bushes also, but... I don't really like these because they, I don't want them to be flowering. They're not yellow. It's okay. It's okay. All right, good night, Jess. Have a great night. Thank you for hanging out. Um, you're getting promoted at work. Oh, that's exciting, Anya, congratulations. Yeah, Hope, I think, um, I guess there's a yellow hibiscus, isn't there? Um, why did you restart your island the fifth time this month? Why did I? I didn't. This is only the first time I've ever reset an island ever. I reset this island last week and I'm still playing on it. Um, this is my second stream playing on this island since I reset it. Um, yeah, the tea olive and the, and the hibiscus I think are the only yellow bushes. Um, I think. Um, higher nuggets, well, that's good. That is a win. Yeah, it was a charity incentive <laughs> to reset, but um, I did not uh, do it more than once. That would be really ridiculous because I just started. <laughs> There's nothing to reset, really. <laughs> um, okay, that's a new bug. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to play The Sims 2 later this afternoon. Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. Okay, can I ask why yellow? Is that your favorite color? Um, I like yellow a lot. It's probably one of my favorite colors. Um, May 28th is Renee's birthday. Oh, exciting. Um, I just thought it would be fun. So, lots of good yellow items and stuff in the game, you know. Okay. Catch. No! My cat donated, we got, uh, everybody, thank you so much uh, for the donations. We're at 316,000. What time you can tell me to play in The Sims 2? Um, I usually stream at four o'clock Eastern time. Uh, the UK is five hours ahead of that, so I'll be here at nine o'clock. It's my like regular stream time, um, but on Wednesdays I stream in the morning. So we're basically doing a bonus stream later <laughs> um, so that we can play a little bit of The Sims 2, so. Um, Okay, I will grab all of this. Thank you. I need to get more Nook Miles. 
I really, really, really want more Nook Miles. Um, you want me to spend Nook Miles, plant flowers? I can do that. I have a lot of flowers, actually, to plant today. Oh, pockets are full. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Please, the weeds, are you growing them? No, but I just started playing on this Switch. I've probably played, like, two hours total on this brand new island, so I have not gone through and cleaned up all the weeds yet. <laughs> We are, uh, we are brand new to a fresh reset, so, um, bear with me, okay? <laughs> your mom guilted you because you don't have an outfit picked out for your consort yet? You find clearing the weeds fun? Yeah, I like clearing the weeds too. I will clear them. I just haven't done it yet because I've been working on other stuff, you know? Um, okay. Let me sell both of those. And then we'll go do some planting. That is my plan. Um, you have one for Sunday because that's when you're going with Madison, but you don't have one for Friday yet. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Okay. Um, can I get your opinion on Realm of Magic Pack? I know you hated it for so long. Well, Pink Moons, I don't know if I would say I hated it. I just have... I was really disappointed in um, how little effort it felt was put into the builds and stuff and the world that came in the pack. Um, but I think the gameplay of Realm of Magic is pretty fun. Uh, I made a video playing it again really recently, like maybe a month or two ago. Um, if you want to hear some recent revisiting thoughts. <laughs> so, um, one, two, three... Okay, there we go. Might get a villager hunt? I will, I don't know if we'll do that today, but I will. I will. Okay. Okay, let's get all these things planted. Um, oh, Arden, thank you so much for the $150 donation to St. Jude and for all your kind words. Arden, you are amazing, thank you so much. Um, you guys are so cool. <laughs> Yeah, Roll of Magic is the pack where you can be a spellcaster in-game. Um, there's a lot of potential. The builds are really bad <laughs> that they did. Um, okay. Let's water all these little flowers. I mean, they're not flowers. They're actually wheat. No, I did it twice. Oh my god. Uh, musician, the museum's gonna get built tomorrow in game, so I'm gonna go to tomorrow in a bit, and the museum will be built then. Um, spellcasters are your favorite occult? Yeah, I think spellcasters are pretty cool, Christine. Um, I like them. I can't get this one, I keep like watering it wrong. There we go. There we go. Um, yay! Some things planted. Uh, Void, the goal is how much we raised last year. <laughs> um, it's how much we raised last year. So it isn't a random number. It is, in fact, how much we raised last year. Okay. Uh, Brandy, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Yay. Um, oh, broken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just gonna plant, like, loads of these flowers here, like a big giant field, I think, for now, just for ease. Um, oh, Anonymous, um, in, in honor of your grandmother, Sandra, thank you so much for that huge donation to St. Jude, $150. Um, oh, and yes, I will get your baby name suggestion added to the spreadsheet, don't worry, thank you so much. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Rabbit Tofu with the $10. Uh, we got Danielle, uh, for your dog, Freddy, who misses Snap, he whines at the TV. <laughs> Snap isn't there. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, that's so cool. Okay, let me get this all finished. Mess everywhere. Snap, Snap's got a friend, apparently. <laughs> okay, flower power, yay. 
Got those. Got those. Am I planning to bake on Sunday? Do you know what, Geek Alert? I haven't decided yet. Um, I haven't decided yet. I, I need to pick, I think I'm either gonna do a cake or like a fun kind of cupcakes again on Sunday during our baking stream and then we're gonna dye Dan's hair. So, but I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do yet. <laughs> I'm being picky. Um, we're gonna dye Dan's hair pink on Sunday. I figured if we did it when we were in the kitchen, it would be easier because the camera is like set up better. So we're gonna dye Dan's hair pink on Sunday. Oh, <laughs> um, Stardew, thank you so much. Stardew says, uh, thanks for being such a safe space. I can't read. <laughs> um, thanks for being such a safe I can't, oh my God, I actually cannot read this. Let me try again. Thanks for being such a safe space. Speak slower. <laughs> For LGBTQIA plus folks, you've been experiencing, experimenting with pronouns, and this is the only space that you feel safe to do it. I'm so proud of you. Um, I'm so proud of you, Stardew. Thank you so much. Um, we got Henny with the $200 to St. Jude also. Um, we got Caleb with $150, who says, Yellow dye can be made from peach tree leaves, dandelions, alfalfa seeds, bay leaves, goldenrod, and celery leaves. Really? I didn't know that. Well, peaches are perfect for our island then when we end up replacing them. So there you go. It's like I did it on purpose. <laughs> um, and Cassicle, thank you for, for the kind words too about how I gave you the motivation to start streaming. That's really nice. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're all gonna make me cry. You're being too nice today. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. Um, all right, let me get, did somebody ask about the trivia stream being a YouTube video? Yeah, we're gonna do, um, am I posting that tomorrow? I think I'm posting it tomorrow. I'll be honest, I was gonna post it today, but then Dan had to go and get a root canal so we couldn't get, um, the videos have been pushed back a day. <laughs> Cause Dan had to go and get a root canal, so. <laughs> uh, Pierre, thank you for the $5 in honor of your dad. Thank you so much, you guys. How's he feeling? Oh, he's okay. He's okay. Um, luckily, I don't think it was too, too bad for him, so. But he did that yesterday, so that's rough. <laughs> that is rough. Um, all right, let's go check in here. Um, the Insta story was a jump scare? What, of my, oh, oh, his. I was like, of my owl? No, his Insta story of him, the picture of him at the dentist? Yeah, I agree. Scary. <laughs> how does one know they need a root canal? Um, I gotta be honest, I don't really know how it works. But Dan had, like, this tooth was really bugging him for a long time. Um, and he went to the dentist and they were like, yeah, buddy. This one's gonna need some help. So. Root canal. <laughs> I don't know, he went to the dentist because he was in pain and then they were like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, I don't know, like, I don't know what it is about your tooth that is the problem. I don't know how, I don't know much about teeth, so I wouldn't know, but it, pain. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, the tooth root is dying, so they gotta go in and, ew, uh, oh my god, I don't wanna think about it. I can't, actually, never mind. I, la 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 la, no dentist talk, oh my god. Something to do with the nerves. Yeah, there you go. Horrifying, absolutely horrifying. Should I get the pocket organization guide so I can have a bigger inventory? I'm doing it. I did it. You have an Asiago bagel for breakfast today? Oh, that sounds good, Christine. I want a bagel. I'm jealous. <laughs> Uh, Snake, thank you for the do donation as well from your from your rats, Merlin, Merritt, Wally, and Ren. Oh, very generous rats donating. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's get this. Oh, yay, points. Good. Very good. Um, do I save up on materials or just something you don't immediately need? Oh, I save materials like wood and stuff. Um, because I really badly need it. <laughs> So I do save up on those. Um, 
that part is necessary. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, what do we need to do next today? I guess we can maybe try and pick up some more of these things. Um, all right, grab this. I probably have to go and make um, a thingy so I can chop down the tree over there. You've never eaten a bagel? Oh, really? Um, well, if you ever get your hands on one, bagels are pretty fun. <laughs> bagels are pretty good. Um, okay. Let's get this. We are gathering more materials, and then I'll probably go to tomorrow so my museum can be built. Sell them to the plant guy? I guess I could. Do I want to spend all day collecting weeds? I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Good bagels are great, bad bagels are just terrible rolls. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Oh no. You reset? I reset last Wednesday, yeah, my green island. We reset it. <laughs> now it's gonna be a yellow island. I'm just not quite there yet. Early days. <laughs> early, early, early days. Um, all bagels are good bagels. You guys are making me hungry. This is actually rude. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Um, no such thing as a bad bagel for sure. Yeah, I feel like some people get, um, I don't know. Some people are dramatic about bagels. I don't think that bagels can be bad necessarily. I'm just, there's definitely better bagels, you know? Um, people have strong opinions about bagels. I understand. It's like coffee. People have strong opinions about coffee too. I wouldn't know about that though. I don't drink coffee really. Um, there are bad gluten-free bagels. I'm, yeah, I'm sure that there's like some that are not so good. If you're a bagel fan, it's possible there could be no bad bagels. I'm scared. Are we being controversial right now? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Grab this. Um, oh, so much better having more inventory space. Rice cooker. Oh, good. Oh my gosh, Cameron, thank you for the $150 donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, they said that they found me around the same time that I was that they were coming out publicly as trans, and the way you so effortlessly incorporate LGBT stories into your gameplay has generally made the process so much easier. It gives me so much hope. Oh, Cameron, <laughs> that means a lot to me that you said that. I'm really, I'm so, so glad. I'm so glad that um, our, our videos could have that effect. I'm, that means a lot to me. <laughs> You guys are gonna make me cry today. <laughs> You're being really sweet. That means a lot. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for the huge donation to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, thanks, Hope. Um, you guys are really cool. <laughs> Um, Scotty, uh, St. Jude actually isn't a religious affiliated hospital, if that's what you're talking about, if that makes you nervous. Um, they originally started out because their founder, um, Danny Thomas, was, uh, quite religious, but they're not, like, uh, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> if that's something that you're nervous about, um, they aren't, like, a, you know, scary <laughs> religious hospital. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um... Hey, Anonymous, Katie, thank you for the donations, too. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, they, uh, take everybody, help everybody, you know? Um, so, okay. Let me grab all of these weeds in the front. Um, yeah, I promise if they were, like, a <laughs> scary religious hospital that was being hateful, there's no way I'd be doing a fundraiser for them. Don't worry. Um, do not worry. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm not religious either, so. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, grab all of this stuff. I wanted to um, chop down that tree, so I might try and make a better axe too. We could probably try and chop down a few of these trees in the front to clear out a little bit of space. 
Um, you haven't played Animal Crossing in so long, you probably have so many weeds. Yeah, I, I just started this Switch because I just reset it, so I definitely have a lot of weeds because I haven't cleaned any of them. <laughs> um, you're dramatic about bagels because you're from New York? I respect that. Um, bacon, egg, and cheese on a New York or New Jersey bagel is one of the best meals and I will die on that hill. I respect it, I respect it. Cinnamon sugar bagel with strawberry cream cheese, somebody says. Oh my god, you guys are making me so hungry! Oh no! I need to go to the grocery store so badly. I literally have not left my house in so long. We are running dangerously low on food. I usually keep like my pantry kind of stocked with like pasta even and like rice and stuff. I used the last of the pasta I had in the house last night. We literally have like nothing. <laughs> There's like no food in the house. I need to go to the grocery store so bad. When you're running out of pasta and rice, that's how you know that you're like, this is not good. This is not good. Um, <laughs> even the pantry. Uh-oh. Um, Apples, thank you for the $29 to St. Jude, too. I know, I can't believe that our that May is almost over, too. It feels like it went by so fast. Um, it went by so, so, so fast. And now here I am streaming twice today. <laughs> Usually, I go, honestly, I go to the grocery store on Wednesdays a lot because I um, get off stream at noon. But I'm going to stream again at 4, so I have to... Um, I'm gonna have to, like, I don't know. Maybe I can order groceries this week. We'll see. Oh my god. Did we just pass $317,000 raise? How did that even ha How? <laughs> Somebody asked, what was the first video game you ever played? And they also just reset their Animal Crossing Island. Oh my gosh. Um, the first video game I ever played, I... I don't know. It must have been, like, a game with my parents. Um... The earliest games that I have memories playing were, like, Mario games on our DS. Um, so I would probably say that. Probably, like, Mario games on our DS when I was little. But my family wasn't huge gamers, so I wasn't, like, a, a gamer gamer. Like, I wasn't really playing, like, console games. We didn't have a computer, so, like, I wasn't really playing a lot of games like that when I was super little. Maybe, like, Brick Breaker on my mom's work Blackberry. <laughs> to be honest, it's maybe like the correct, the actual answer is Brick Breaker on my mom's Blackberry from work. <laughs> oh, I miss those days. Good game. Good game. <laughs> um, let's see if we can pick all this up. Um, first game we ever loved was Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, the first games that I ever, like, really loved were a lot of Mario games on my DS. Um, good times. Um, good times. I never played any, like, Barbie horse games. I also have a lot of memories. We used to play, um, this isn't that early. I was a little bit older at this point, but my neighbor got a Wii, and we used to play so many Wii games. And they also had, um, that, like, Xbox Connect thing when it was, like, brand, brand new. And we used to play um, games on that. I don't know what it was called, but there were so many fun games that we played with those back in the day. The first Sims game I played was My Sims Kingdom for the Wii. So I played that one. Um, and then I played The Sims 3 after that. Um, yeah, we, my neighbor had the connects. So we always played on that together. <laughs> um, and they had the, like, the Wii sports games and stuff too, so we played on those. Um, Iconic. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's something about the Wii that was really nice. It was a good, good console. <laughs> Julia with the ten dollars uh, for all the brave and amazing people in the chat. Oh, thank you so much. That's so generous. Um, you guys are so cool. <laughs> Let's talk weeds. I got some for you. I want to sell you things. I'm ready. Weed tennis is where it's at. Oh yeah, I had so much fun with that. You can buy my weeds. Yay. That's good money right there. Thank you. <laughs> um, Sky, thank you, thank you, thank you for the 250 to St. Jude. Um, for everyone in your life who's been affected by cancer, for your gramps, uh, your mom and your aunt. Um, and your dad, and also your dog. Oh, thank you so much. 
Um, and somebody else who says work is boring, so I'm playing Pop Tropica. Oh my gosh. I loved Pop Tropica. Webkins and Pop Tropica were like actually my life when I was a child. <laughs> I loved Webkins and Pop Tropica. <laughs> Iconic, truly amazing. Uh, great, 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 great games. <laughs> You missed out on Pop Tropica? Oh, I played Neopets too, but I liked Pop Tropica better than Neopets, I think. Um, I really liked Pop Tropica. That was a good game. Um, your American relatives would send you Webkins so you could play? I remember I got a Webkins for my eighth birthday. Like, I, one of my friends gave me one for my birthday, and I didn't have one before that. And it was, like, the greatest day of my life. I was so excited. I was obsessed with Webkins. Me and my friend Brittany used to, um... In elementary school we used to call each other on the home phone and we would sit on the home phone and like play um webkins on our computers at the same time and like talk about how we were playing webkins together i've always been like a discord gamer except um i was you know ahead of my time <laughs> you did the same thing i love that <laughs> that's so cute Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Morgan, thank you so much for the donation. Um, you're on the way to work now and you get off at four. Oh, I am streaming a good times for you today. Nice. Um, you and your cousin used to do that on Roblox. Do you know what? I never played Roblox. I never got into it. I think I was maybe a little... I was a bit preoccupied with The Sims, I suppose. <laughs> you played music from your CD player to share with your friend when you were... Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. That makes my day. <laughs> Take me back, honestly. Oh yeah, the sound quality must have been horrible, but that's so cute. Oh, look at these little tiny fish. Hi. Okay, after I finish getting these guys, I'm gonna go to tomorrow, I swear. I got 10 fish. Nice. Are you supposed to clear the weeds? No, you don't have to. Um, I'm gonna sell them because I, I can make some good money from clearing up the open area right here. Um, but you don't have to. You also don't make good money from weeds, really. But <laughs> is your person not wearing any shoes? Yeah, I don't have any uh, yellow shoes yet, so I don't have any <laughs> shoes on. I don't have any yellow ones, so. I just won't wear them. You got the OG Sims for your birthday in 1999 and the rest is history. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Yeah, I never played the original Sims game. Um, I missed out. I was a little bit young for it though, I will say. Six months old when it came out, you know? So... <laughs> I was a little bit on the younger side for the Sims one. <laughs> but your pants aren't yellow? Yeah, well, I have to wear pants. And I think jeans pass. Jeans get a pass. Jeans are okay. But... <laughs> um, you played the Sims uh, 2 before you could read? Yeah, I love that. I feel like I hear so many stories about people who's, like, you know, their siblings, their older siblings, their cousins all played the Sims, so that's how they got into it when they were really little. But I didn't have, like, any older siblings who were playing it. Um, I was born in 99, um, August 1999, and The Sims came out in February of 2000, so. Um, Isa, thank you for the donation. A sunflower pull-apart cake. Ooh, that's a fun idea for the baking stream. I kind of want to do something kind of Katy Perry sweet treats inspired. Um, so I gotta think about it. We did those super cute cupcakes that looked like ice cream last year, and I liked that a lot. Um... So I wanted to do something kind of like super, I don't know. Let's talk weeds. Wait, you don't have, I, you can't see my weeds? Oh, I must have already sold them. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, okay? Sorry. Um. <laughs> oh no. Um. 
Oh, Laura, in honor of your first cat. Oh my goodness. Theodore, too, with the donations. Thank you all so much. All right. Um, I would like to get some things so that I can make myself a shovel. Um, are we gonna villager hunt today for the first three? I don't know. I, um, I guess I probably could work on it. I don't have any Nook Miles tickets, though. Um, so we'll have to see. We shall have to see. Um, you have 400 words left on a 4,000 word report and you have no motivation left? Oh, you got this, friend. You got this. Um, okay. What should I do? Build a bridge and river somewhere. Okay. I can do that. Let's get that started too. Um, do I want Nook Miles tickets? Okay, we have to get, um, let's get some stuff ready. Um, how do I need to craft this? Um, bridge construction kit, I need some clay and some log stakes. I need some wood for that. That's fine. I would very much like to craft myself a flimsy shovel and then an axe. Um, do I plan on streaming Planet Zoo? Do you know what? After watching Shella play so much Planet Zoo recently, I really want to play Planet Zoo. Maybe at some point in the next couple months we can play. I'm kind of in a, a Stardew era at the moment and I usually play like a couple games on stream at a time. The Sims and then, you know. Animal Crossing, <laughs> Stardew, stuff like that. But I, I'm, I love Planet Zoo. I've had so much fun watching Shella play. It's such a good game. Um, oh, Selkie the Tuxedo Cat again with the three dollars uh, for the three hundred yards you swam yesterday. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my goodness. Do you know what? Speaking of swimming. Um, me and Dan went swimming a few days ago. I have a pool in my backyard. Greatest experience of my life. But my pool is not heated. And um, obviously it's been winter. <laughs> so it's been cold. So like um, not using it. And my parents have a pool, but there's like their backyard is like really shady. And um, they have a pool screen. I don't. And so I, I don't really have any concept of like how hot a pool gets like from the sun. I didn't know until, you know, the past couple weeks where it's been so hot. And my my backyard is in like direct sun pretty much all day. Um and the pool was like 89 degrees. I have a little thermometer in there. It was like 89 degrees Fahrenheit just from the sun. <laughs> when I put my hand in it, it felt hot. <laughs> like actually hot. Um it was kind of nice, to be honest. <laughs> it doesn't feel that bad when you're in it, but I didn't really know like um, what to expect with it from the summer because I just moved in, obviously, so I didn't really know um, what it was going to be like. What is a pool screen? Okay, I can show you. Um, a lot of houses in Florida, pretty much... Honestly, I would say most people's houses in Florida have one of these. Um, even if you don't have a pool, a lot of people's houses have... Um, a pool screen and just in what is happening and also a lot of people um have a, a screen in general um around like patios and stuff but uh a pool screen is like this it's like a big cage net it's not glass it's not glass it's like mesh like a net um and it helps keep bugs out obviously from your patio but also in this case if you've got a pool it's nice because then there's not like leaves falling in your pool constantly um so it's easier to, to clean it. It doesn't really help with it. There's no shade from it. Um, there's no shade from it. There's no like sun protection. It's it's just like bug and leaf protection. <laughs> um, but a lot of houses in Florida will have these big giant cages on the back of their house. So um, a pool screen. <laughs> Um, I don't have one of those. I have a screened in patio though, but it's, I have like a covered patio and there's just like a wall of screen. The roof isn't a screen. It's got a real roof, um, on the back of the house. So, um, it's kind of nice, but they're kind of ugly, I must say. 
Um, am I going to get one? A, like a full screen? No, I don't think so. I would, I, that's not like a desire of mine. <laughs> Parents call yours a pool cage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, I got reactions for the first time. Um, that's fun. Um, yeah, no, uh, MV, I, I wouldn't say that having a pool is common in most parts of the US. I live in Florida. Um, so it's fairly common here. Not everybody has a pool, but I live in Florida though. So like my life experience is different than a lot of other people's maybe, <laughs> um, you know, um, but it's definitely not like common for everyone to have pools everywhere. But if you live in hot places, it sometimes is, um, I don't know. Um, but really, Andrea, that's so interesting. Um, oh, spoiler cat, you got strep throat. Oh no, I hope you feel better. Thank you for the $50 to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, but it depends on a lot of things. Um, I mean, it's, I don't know. My house just has one. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily looking for a house that had a pool, but um, this one had one, so I accept. <laughs> I accept. Um, your fiance works in commercial pool maintenance. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, do I use it a lot? Well, I haven't used it much in the winter because it was actually freezing, but now that it's hot outside, I would like to. <laughs> um, I need a pool boy fiance, I must admit. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna go to tomorrow now. Um, keep this going. Oh wait, no, I was gonna, oh, I forgot. Never mind. I don't wanna go to tomorrow. I wanted to build the bridge. That's right. Um, the US has less pool, more lakes. Oh, we have lakes, but lakes in Florida are scary. We got like scary amoeba and gators and snakes and <laughs> lakes in Florida are scary. <laughs> they literally have to put up like, um, like water warnings that are like, don't swim in the water. There's an algae bloom and it's dangerous to go in the water in a lot of lakes around here. Is that good vibes? No, <laughs> but they, they literally have to like give you like warnings about lakes sometimes and to not go in them. Um, <laughs> scary, 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 scary. Being from Michigan, you think seeing a gator would terrify you? I don't think that I'm scared of gators. I, um, I don't know. I guess they seem scary, but most of the time, the gators that you're going to see, like, around here, like, in the lakes by my house and stuff, they're only little. Um, so they, like... Just don't get too close to them, you know? Um, I, I'm not really worried about the little ones, so. And I've never seen like a giant, giant, giant alligator in the wild, so. Um, I've only ever seen like little ones. Doesn't scare me. <laughs> I'm not scared of them. Um, as someone who lives in Florida, you've never seen the little ones, but you have seen a single huge one, really? I've seen huge alligators, but not in like, um, not in locations that would be cause for concern for me personally. Like I, um, I've been to like, like a wild, like I sent Hope a bunch of scary, yeah, yeah. I sent Hope a bunch of scary pictures of an alligator. <laughs> These like giant, like eight, 10 feet long alligators with no context, but it's because my parents and I went to um, this like wildlife drive. <laughs> it, it seemed a lot scarier than it actually was. Um, there's this place called the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive in Florida. I don't live that nearby to it, but it, you know, it's in the, in the area. Um, and it's kind of cool. Um, we saw like 40 alligators, like giant alligators when we were driving through it. Um, but anyway, it was far away, Hope. It's fine. I've never seen gators that big in my life though. But then when I was there. But I, to be honest with you, I think that's largely because, um, uh oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Um, 
<laughs> we have a delivery from article coming today because I bought a new uh, chair for my patio um, and they're calling me. <laughs> so I need Dan to go and talk to them. <laughs> Sorry to alarm you by saying uh-oh like that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, we're getting a new chair for my patio. Yay. <laughs> Yay. It was on sale. Exciting. Um, uh-oh, followed by furious typing. Yeah, sorry. Hi, Dan. Ego. Oh, St. Jude shirt. Not bad. You wore it this morning, didn't you? I forgot. Can you trade? Can I have your phone in case something happens? What if there's an emergency? Thank you. I was gonna... Oh, you were ordering groceries. Never mind. That was for you. Well, I don't want to do it. I'm streaming. Okay. Oh, if there's an emergency... They sent a text. I don't need it. Oh. That's good. Um, I get nervous. I don't like to be without a phone. I say, what if there's an emergency as I'm sitting at my PC? As if there's gonna be, like, something wrong happening? <laughs> I was gonna make him trade phones with me so we could take my phone and then I'll take his. <laughs> I guess if there's an emergency, um, it would be fine. <laughs> don't mind me, okay? I was just gonna chop up a few of these. Um, you tripped over a gator once while you were running because you couldn't see it because it was like dark in the morning. That is scary. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> oh no. Um, someone said a snake tried to get in their house yesterday. Um, wait, you open your porch screen door and it fell from the roof? <gasps> A snake fell from the sky? No, 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 no. That's not right. That's not right. When I was on my walk yesterday morning, a lizard fell from the sky. I don't know where it came from, um, but it fell from the sky and landed near my feet in front of me. I think that this is unfortunate. I think that maybe a bird dropped it or it fell out of a tree, but a lizard fell from the sky and landed on the floor in front of me, but it ran away. So I think it was okay. But there was just a, all of a sudden there was a lizard on the floor in front of me, but I think either a bird dropped it or it, I don't, would it fall out of a tree? I don't know. But I, my guess would be that a bird probably dropped it. So. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that before, though. <sighs> Scary. Lizards are fun. One of my faves. No, it wasn't like, it's not like that. Um, people are talking about how lizards fall from trees when it gets cold. It's not like that. And it wasn't cold. <laughs> it's not like that. Um. That happens a lot of times with a lot of the lizards that come up here from further south and they're not used to the cold temperatures of central Florida in the winter. Um, they like fall out of trees because they like freeze. Um, but it, that's not what happened with this lizard because it, was, it wasn't cold. It was more probably like it got dropped or something. Um, Megan, thank you for the $150 donation to St. Jude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, when you say cold in Central Florida, it sounds funny, right? But um, we're talking like a lot of lizards that come from way down south, like not even in the state of Florida, but like the Caribbean and stuff. Um, so they're from like way hotter places, you know? Anyway, let's craft. <laughs> I need to make four, um, oh no, it's lost. I need to make like three of these, I think. Um, they're invasively, a lot of times stuff like that with the lizards that come from, like, other islands or things, um, into a new place, um, a lot of times they, like, are on boats, like, on shipping boats and stuff, um, and then they get brought accidentally to new places, um, a lot of times it's from, like, people's exotic pets, 
a lot of the invasive species in Florida are people, like, we have a lot of invasive snakes in Florida that people had as pets that they probably shouldn't have, and then they got big, so they released them into the wild, um, when they shouldn't be, <laughs> and then there's these big, uh, invasive giant snakes that kill, like, a lot of native plants, um, but it's a lot of, um, exotic pets, and, like, sometimes they, like, catch a ride on boats and stuff, um, and get brought exact ex accidentally, so, um, but anyway, <laughs> that's how it happens. <laughs> uh, a lot of people will adopt things like turtles or snakes, uh, lizards and stuff, and then like change their mind and just release it into the wild. You can't do that. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, like boas in the Everglades because of stuff like that, yeah. Um, but it's interesting. Um, oh wait, I didn't mean to leave, why did I leave? People do bad, dumb things, so. Why are the dogs out, Kayla? <laughs> I've been running around with no shoes in Animal Crossing and for so long, like my other island, I'm wearing that frog costume and people are like, why aren't you wearing shoes? And then I get to be like, well, frogs don't wear shoes. <laughs> but the answer for this right now is that I don't have yellow shoes. So I can't, because I don't have any yellow shoes in game. Um. <laughs> Anyway, um, let me go back and get some clay because I somehow did not bring it. Oops. Oops. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. Really? A problem with hippos? Oh my god. I didn't know that. Invasive species are kind of scary. Most of the lizards that you guys see um, in Florida, this is maybe a niche reference. <laughs> Um, but if you've ever been around here in central Florida and you see those little brown lizards running around, they almost, they have like kind of a pattern on their back. Um, those are actually invasive, uh, to central Florida. The native central Florida lizards are more like plain. Um, they're kind of green as well if you see those. Um, but you don't see them very often anymore, um, because there's so many of the invasive ones running around on the ground. A lot of the native ones have like moved higher up in the trees, so you don't see them as much. But those little brown ones are actually invasive. So, I think they're from Cuba originally, but they're actually invasive, those little ones. Um, our green ones are not seen as much anymore. Um, but anyway, <laughs> you see them in Georgia, that's good. I'm glad that you still see them up there. Um, okay, um, I would like to make, nope, this, thank you. Thank you. Um, see like billions of big brown lizards every day here. Oh, they're everywhere. Well, you cannot, if I were, I'm honest, if I stepped outside, out my front door right now, I bet you if I stepped out the front door and just stood in place, I probably could see like 10 lizards. Maybe more if I looked harder. Um, there's lizards everywhere. <laughs> if I stepped outside right now, I would, I would probably see so many, I guarantee it. Um, I don't know where I want to put this yet. Part of me kind of wants to put it right there, but maybe having access to the other side over here would be better. You love lizards, but that many? Oh, they're everywhere. I like lizards though. I think they're cool. Maybe I'll put it right here. This will be helpful. Does Snap react to them? Yeah, she, um, she sits on her little patio and she watches them a lot. We had a lizard incident where a lizard tried to run inside the house the other day. Um, and uh, I had to uh, uh, literally pick up my entire couch to, to free it after locking my cat in my bedroom because she tried to chase it under the couch. But um, I don't know. I found that very alarming, I'm not going to lie, because it made me think about how many other lizards are probably in my house. <laughs> she has her own patio. Okay, well, I mean, it's my patio, I guess, but it's really her patio. We have a screened in porch, so she can go out there whenever she wants and it's safe. So you pick up the lizards. Well, with that one, I like tried to get it, catch it in like a piece of Tupperware so I could um, bring it back outside. So I haven't seen that many lizards in my house. That was the first one that I've seen since I moved here. I saw in my old house, this one time I was watering my house plants and a lizard flew out at me, which was very alarming. That doesn't usually happen. 
Um, I had a lizard in my shower curtain once, too. That was like a little gecko, though, the shower curtain one. They're kind of creepy because they look like they're clear. You can, like, see through them. <laughs> but I liked it. <laughs> they're cute. It did scare me, though, when I moved it and then it jumped. Woo! <laughs> Megan, thank you for the $150 donation, by the way. Cool cats against cancer. Lots of love from Australia. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, but anyway, <laughs> as a Midwesterner, I'm terrified right now. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It sounds worse than it is. I get, you get used to it. Hi, Ninja. <laughs> you think lizards are scary? Hold on. Let me show you my little guys. These are the little guys that you see all over the place. These are the ones that I would see everywhere if I looked outside. These are like the invasive ones, technically. Um, but they're everywhere. It's like impossible. They're like literally everywhere. Um, and these little green ones are the ones that are actually native to Florida. But these things you see everywhere. If I looked outside, I would see like... Look at that! They're bullies. Anyway. They're kind of cute, and they do this weird thing with their neck. <laughs> um, but you see them all over the place, so. You're sorry, but ew. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> They're cute. Aren't they kind of fun? <laughs> They're just little guys. I think they're fun. Lizards are funny. How are you so casual about lizards? Well, if you were from a place that had lizards, you'd be casual about them too. Listen, lizards are way better than bugs. Way better than bugs. And think about how many bugs are outside. Lizards eat bugs. Think about it. You know? <laughs> you love them from a distance. There you go. <gasps> Clothes for the first time. Oh my God. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let me see. Oh! Yes! Honestly, these sandals might work. I'm only buying yellow clothes. So. I will not think about how many bugs are outside. <laughs> well, now I can have shoes, see? Are you happy now? <laughs> I'm gonna buy these two. And I'll buy the coat as well. They're not quite as yellow as I would like, but... I don't have any clothes yet, so... This will have to do. Think about how many bugs are inside, though. Mmm... I would rather not, actually, actually, okay, thank you, I got my stuff, <laughs> all right, let's go inside here, see what we got, can we please stop the bug talk, yeah, I'm sorry, I won't bring it up again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Hello, we have our own bridge. Now we can get ready for the new visitors. Okay. Um, what should I do? We gotta get to work on building some homes. Three housing kits! Yes! I can pick out plots for three homes and then I have to place all the furniture for them. Um, you're Australian and you're not casual about any of your wildlife, even lizards? Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. Here, I can put my my shoes on now. So people can stop hating me for my feet being out. <laughs> okay, let me get my bonus miles. Let me get some nook shopping. Special goods. Telescope. I probably shouldn't buy that. Honestly... Some white pants might be good. Um, oh, and see, thank you for the $10 to say Jude. Thank you so much. <gasps> Snappy! Hi! Hello! You've appeared. 
<laughs> Dan brought her to me. Hi. Do you want to hang out with everybody? You can sit on your couch if you want. Oh, it's getting really bright in here. I didn't realize. I have my curtains open. Um, okay. Oh, did my shovel break? Oh no, I have one. Hmm. Hmm. No, don't leave me where we have to stay. That's rude. I was so excited to see her. I got like a little cat delivery and now she's trying to walk away. Okay. Does anyone know when you can first use amiibos after you reset your island? Um, I don't know. Chat, do you know? All right. Let's play some of these housing kits. Oh my god. I might not be able to place them on the beach like I wanted to. <laughs> when you upgrade resident services, so once you have the campsite. There you go. Brick and mortar resident services. This is the spot. Growing up, you sometimes have, to, you sometimes have bears wandering the neighborhoods. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's an amiibo? Oh, they're like little trading cards like this. And you can scan them. Um, they have an NFC thingy in the back. Not to be confused with an NFT. Um, it's like a little uh, chip so that you can scan into your Switch and get like different uh, villagers. They're like trading cards almost. Um, are they, well, they are trading cards. <laughs> You forgot NFTs exist. Do you know what? Those things fell off fast. And I must say, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> okay. Um, Piper the wiener dog. Oh, hi, Piper. Thank you for the donation. Piper was watching the stream on your lap and wanted to donate her only dollar. <laughs> How generous of you, Piper the wiener dog, for, for sharing your hard-earned money with us. No. How about here? Yay, this is the spot. You made eye contact with a black bear on vacation a week ago. You were on a motorcycle and it was like five feet away. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Log stool. Oh, I already know that. That's annoying. That sounds scary. All right, what do we got? Construction box one. You need interior items, pair wardrobe, pair bed, pot. I need to write down all these things. You also need to check the exterior items of which you need a hay bed, a swinging bench, and a barrel. I have not found my first three villagers yet. I don't have any Nook Miles tickets. I'm just saying. I don't have any Nook Miles tickets. <laughs> Lily wreath, uh oh. Um, check exterior items. Is your internet stable enough for visitors? Yeah, this switch works okay. Iron garden chair, iron garden table. Birdhouse. Okay. And then... Christine says, interesting. <laughs> yeah, the interiors do come predetermined, so whoever we find, um, I will probably, like, end up, um, replacing them anyway. Because these interiors aren't that interesting. Log garden lounge, log stool, water pump, but um, it'll do for now if we wanted to find somebody. They'd probably end up getting replaced though. Autofill? I guess we could autofill them if we really wanted to, just for funsies, and then we can replace them. Can you update the interiors now? Yeah, this is the thing. Everybody keeps telling me this, but like, I know that you can, but that implies that we have to like finish the DLC on another Switch. 
you know? So, I, I don't know if I will end up getting to that point. We kept saying that about our green island, and then we never... I reset it, you know? Um, if we autofill it, we can get to terraforming faster, and then we'll be able to hunt for real. I don't know. You can speedrun it? I guess that's true. I hadn't really considered that. Just take me, it's fine. <laughs> it's your call? Maybe I'll go to, um... Maybe I'll go to a couple islands. Christine, you happen to be on Animal Crossing? That's interesting. That you're on Animal Crossing, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Are we friends on this Switch, Christine? Maybe I'll get you a Dodo code, just in case. I mean, well, no, I'll just open my gates with a Dodo code, just in case. <laughs> Alexandra with the $15 in honor of your sweet mama. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, we are friends because you popped up. Duh. So I should be able to open it just to friends, yeah? Oh my god. Royalty in honor of your childhood best friend, Katie. Uh, thank you so much for that huge donation in memory of Katie. Um, and we also got Cassidy with the $100 donation. Um, and you said it's been two years since you had to stay in the hospital. As a 26 year old, it was such a scary experience. No child should have to go through that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Cassidy, thank you so much for that huge donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Okay, let me get this online play opened. Um, polar ice? Um, <laughs> from your cat, Lily, who wants to donate. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lily, with the five dollars to say, Jude. <laughs> this is my first time having friends over. Exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, okay. <laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. I sent you 400 Nook Miles tickets for a mermaid dress on this Switch! I forgot about that! Oh no! <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Alright, let's get this open, shall we? Um, <laughs> you still have it on your Nook is on, what a wild time. Oh, iconic. Um, <laughs> All right, um, we are all set. Open in the gates. Okay, they are open. Yay. Let's go get crafting, shall we? Um, yeah, Chloe, when you use an amiibo card on a full island, it lets you choose who you want it to replace. Um, so you get to pick. And we're gonna dye Dan's hair on Saturday, Sunday. Sunday on Sunday, Sabrina, is the plan. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do dye, dye, d oh my god, we're gonna do the hair dye on Sunday, I can't speak. Um, okay, I would like to craft, I have a long list of things that I need to make, uh, specifically I would like to have a ladder as well, that would be nice. Um, he needs to have a lover themed outfit for Chicago, oh my gosh, you're right. That's a good idea. Um, let's craft. Maybe if we got... I need a, I do need a pear bed. Uh, Baby and Luna the cats who stole their mom's card, but it's for the kids. Oh, these cats are very generous today and very smart. Um, all of the cats who know how to get into someone's wallet and, <laughs> and donate to charity. Iconic, honestly. Um, what else do we need? Iron garden chair, iron garden table. I can do that. We're gonna be at the concert on Saturday in Chicago, Katie. I'm so excited. Hope and Chibi are gonna come to my grandma's house. <laughs> Wrong thing. Table. Oh, my inventory is too full. Oops. Oops. Uh, but it's fun. We're gonna go see Taylor on the Saturday in Chicago. June 3rd is when we shall be there. Okay. Oh no. Sorry, I yawned. Sorry, chat. My bad. Um, 
Let's go. You're seeing Taylor again? Yeah, I got tickets to see her in Chicago um, ages ago. Dan got a pre-sale code for Tampa, and I got a pre-sale code for Chicago, hoping that one of us would at least get tickets. Um, and we did. And now we're going to go stay at my grandma's house and see her. So, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Um, let me put, oh, I guess I need the pair bed still. I can put a lot of these other things away for now. Just for ease. Oh, hi, Snap, you came back. Do you want to go sit on your chair? Or you can sit on my desk. That's good, too. That also works. Um, put those things away. Put that away. Hardwood. So much stuff. Um, okay, and then I'll put the pair away for now, too. I guess I need this iron garden chair and this pear bed for... and the pear wardrobe. And this. Okay, that'll do. Everything is organized. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's go to the museum, too, because we got some stuff to donate to the museum. I can't see chat because the cat is standing in front of it. <laughs> There we go. Oh, you want to come on my lap? Come here. I'll move my legs. Sorry, I was sitting with my legs up on my chair. Come here. Or do you just want to sit there? What do you want? You can sit with me. You can lay across the desk, maybe? Cats are funny. Um, okay. Oh, unfortunately, Sabrina, I don't know if we're gonna have literally any time to do anything interesting in Chicago while we're there. Uh, because we're, me and Dan are flying up on Friday. We're going to the concert on Saturday and then flying home on Sunday. But I'm like, I'm going with the intention of visiting my grandma, you know? Um, so <laughs> I will probably not have that much time to be doing exciting things in the city this time. Um, but I've been to Chicago a lot in my day, so. Um, I was, I was born, not in Chicago, but you know, I was born in Evanston <laughs> and my grandparents lived in Chicago my whole life. So my dad was born there. Um, we've uh, spent some time. So <laughs> I'm sure I will also be back. <laughs> um, Twinkle, the 20 year old cat, she's so old and deaf and loud. Oh my goodness. I think Snappy is, um, I think her hearing is not so good these days. She can hear. But she's not, um, she's not the best at hearing. She's not very, like, um, you know, some things she can't hear. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> um, and she's also gotten a lot more, like, vocal. She's getting a little bit yelly, I think, I think that's part of it. Um, is she losing her hearing or choosing to ignore you? Well, I think it's, I think that she, I mean, she's almost 15, so she's getting a little bit older. Um, but she, uh, sometimes, like, I'll walk up behind her and she will have absolutely no idea. Like, um, she'll be sitting, like, drinking water, for example, and I'll, like, walk up, um, and go stand near her and she has no clue absolutely no clue that I'm standing there and then she'll get like jump scared by me when she turns her head and sees me when like you know when she was younger she would have heard me come up um but she's uh not hearing as well anymore so okay let's make a donation um let's see I have a lot of things I can donate in fact this is very exciting oh my gosh she's loving this hi thank you Thank you. But she does hear. It's just she doesn't hear everything. So. <laughs> Poppy and Daisy, thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude in memory of Lily from your seven-month-old kittens that stole your mom's credit card. Thank you for the donation. Um, thank you so much. Sizzy as well from your cat Enzo, <laughs> uh, who did not steal your wallet. We got Victoria with the $5 uh, for your aunt and for your mom. Uh, we got a dollar from Dandelion and Daffodil. We got Snappy, who says she stole my credit card and wanted to donate. Teehee, feed me, by the way. <laughs> Snap, you donated? You donated just then? That was so nice. <laughs> Is that why you're sitting here? I know you ate. And not that long ago. Drama queen. Okay, now the cat's rubbing her face into the controller, so... Who's coming over? Oh, it's Christine. She's bringing me tickets. 
Did the bees get me? Yeah, I just let him take me. Um, you thought your dog was deaf, took him to the vet. Turns out he was ignoring you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, that's really funny. Oh, hello. Shake. Why? Robin with the $14 for each critter you donated, if you counted correctly. Oh, did I donate 14? That's not too bad. The way you pulled out an axe. <laughs> I did pull out an axe, didn't I? <laughs> I stepped out of the, the airport holding an axe. Imagine, um, wow, tell me how you really feel about Animal Crossing glitching just then, huh? <laughs> Why do you think it does that? Should I try it one more time? Just to see? Hmm. Don't want visitors. My Wi Fi is on. See? Two bars. Um. But. Is it on my end? I mean, I've been the one that's been having issues with my switches and the Wi-Fi, so it's probably my end, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's try again. It's probably my fault. <laughs> Thank you, Snap. You're being very kind. You're really hanging out. It's very sweet of you. Did you know that? Everybody loves it. Okay. Um, let's go finish the I had like one more thing. Are both switches updated to the same version? They should be. They should be, I think. I hope. The way she just sits here is so funny. She just sits here looking at me and then you just see her ears <laughs> on the stream, um, which I enjoy. Uh oh, now she's walking. Where are we going? She's rubbing her face into my switch. <gasps> Maybe it works this time. Maybe it works this time. I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> All right, cross your fingers, everybody. <laughs> Do you wanna play? You can play Animal Crossing. You can have your own island if you wanted. Oh, she's jumping down. Please go there, please go there. Please go there, please go there, please go there. No. It's so bright in here right now. Snappy, I want you to sit in your chair. Snappy? No, you can't leave. She's walking away. We've been abandoned. Did it not work again? Did it really not work again? Why does my Wi-Fi do this? Maybe I could try, uh-oh. Hmm. No, this isn't the switch that can't handle Wi-Fi. Let me go see, Um, let me go look. Maybe I could try and put it on my hotspot and see if that helps instead. And then if it's actually like a connection issue, we'd know. Yeah? Let me try that. Um, we shall find out. No, Christine can't mail anything because um, hotspots don't work with traveling. Well, it's just, it's Wi-Fi, so it should. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't. Internet. Um, I bought, um, I bought like a, oh, well, maybe I could come to your, maybe I'll try that first, Christy. Maybe I'll come to your island first and then we'll see. Then we shall see. Um, okay. You will open your gates. All right. All right. 
Wi-Fi not local play. Yeah, I was gonna do Wi-Fi, uh, like put my hotspot on my phone on and then use that instead of my like actual house internet. Anyway, I just bought um, like an ethernet splitter thingy so that I could have my switch connected to the ethernet because I have a cord. They like ran it through the wall when I renovated my house. The router is like through there. Oh, hi, Snap. Oh, she's gonna sit in the windowsill. Oh, <laughs> can you see her at all? No, it's too bright. She's sitting in the windowsill. That's cute. Um, anyway, I when, when I renovated my house, I had them uh, run an ethernet cable through the wall. So that's good, but I only have one. So we try this again. All right, let's go to Christine's Island. Her gates are open. If it doesn't work, then, well, I don't know. <laughs> if it doesn't work, then I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm gonna get a picture of my cat in the window. Bestie. Okay, anyway. I'll have to empty my pockets, actually, before I do that. Um, what you doing, Snap? Um... Can I show you the picture too? Unfortunately, I would like to, but pictures out the window are a no-go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would like to, but alas, um, I, I fear that is probably a not good idea. Oh, you're back, hello. Okay. Um, oh, Hisaray. Um, oh my gosh. Thank you for that donation for your puppy chicken nugget. I'm so sorry to hear, um, I'm so sorry to hear that he's sick. That's so scary. Um, oh yeah, I have less pocket space than you. That's true, Christine. Um, maybe take off clothes too, just in case. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> Christine. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. It's because Christine's gonna give me some clothes, so she wants, um... Okay. My cat has just walked behind my PC. That snap is actually incredibly inconvenient of you to have done. So, here we go. Now she's back. You're being very curious this morning. <laughs> Fascinating. All right, please work. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be really sad. I want to fly. Oh, my character got attacked by wasps. That's why I look like that. <gasps> she might be going under her chair. She's thinking about it. She's looking at it. Yes! No! <laughs> she climbed too high up. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. Oh, hi. Uh-oh. See? She is being really curious this morning. Hey, Snap. Oh, great. <laughs> She's investigating, apparently. She's being a chaos cat. Let's go. Let's fly. Is there bingo today? Oh, we're not hunting right now. Um... But oh no, she's just looking at Dan. Don't you jump all the way down. No. Jump onto your chair first. Okay. Good job. <laughs> yeah, now she's leaving. <laughs> That's Dan's fault. <sighs> Why can't she? I don't want her to hurt herself. And I'm scared if she jumps off my pictures that are just resting there, they'll get flung. But. <laughs> I don't want her to hurt herself, I'm scared. It's not like that high, but it's a little higher than I would like her to jump down from, so. But she listened. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Your cat often overestimates his jumping abilities, oh gosh. She's not that, um, she doesn't have She's not, she doesn't do anything chaotic usually with the jumps, so that's good. Oh, Christine, it's ruined! 
What? What do I do? Should I try and put it on my hotspot? Next time we play Animal Crossing, I'll have my Ethernet set up, so that'll be better. But this sucks. I'm upset. I want to try the hotspot as soon as I get back to my island. Come on. <laughs> All right, let me go let me try again. Your cat is super jumpy, so you spam it in the jumping pigs channel on the Discord. That's so cute. That is so, so, so cute. Um, okay, I will go and put it on my hotspot now. Hold on. One moment. System settings. Um, internet, internet settings. Searching for networks. <sighs> Come on. You can't connect to it? Why? Okay, I re enter the password. Oh my god. Yeah, once we have the Ethernet thing hooked up, I, I just bought the, um, the thingy that I need, so I should be able to get that set up. I could probably even ask Dan to help me do it tomorrow. It won't connect. It said the password didn't work. I'm upset. Okay. It won't connect. To anything. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a fail. I should turn off my hotspot and turn it back on. Well, I just try, okay, I'll try it again. No. You had to hard reset your switch? Uh oh. No, I think it'll be fine. I don't think I'm gonna have to do that, but. Hmm. If you tried hitting it, yeah, maybe I'll just like smack my switch, see if it works. <laughs> That'll help, I'm sure. Okay, I think we're gonna have to just autofill for now. Christine, I am devastated by this information. Um, but I don't think it's gonna work. Hotspots take a minute to connect to. I don't know. I have been. I use it on my other switch all the time, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. Okay, give it a minute to load. All right, I'll let it sit there for a little bit longer. I don't get it. Why? You're a few days ahead? Yeah, but the day set ahead shouldn't make a difference. Um, Fred the turtle, your turtle Fred just turned 18 and he is now going to help us vote Ron DeSantis out of office. <laughs> Congrats Fred on, on uh, turning old enough to vote. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, no, the date, yeah, the days don't matter. Um, oh my goodness, Ron DeSantis is a, today's a bad day to even think about that horrible nightmare man. <sighs> Anyway, have you tried reciting positive affirmations to your Switch? Do you know what? You're right. I need to be nicer because I've been really mean to my Switch, um, complaining about it not connecting, and um, maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> I love you, Switch. You're so brave and strong. And I'm so sorry that I was mean to you. I'll never do it again. Okay? I'm giving up. I'm actually giving up. I'll just leave my hotspot on for a second longer and we'll let it see if it can come back alive. And I'll go back to the museum again. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> Have you tried putting it in rice? No, but I did I did get a rice cooker in game today. 
Does that count for anything? <laughs> I didn't put the real switch in rice, but in game I got a rice cooker. You know? Switch, you are so strong and brave and so good. The rice is inside the switch. I learned with your work laptop, you have to tattle on it to your boss and suddenly it works again. Oh, Tiny, maybe I should tell your boss that my switch isn't working. <laughs> maybe that'll fix it. Uh, Tiny's boss, I'm having some tech problems. <laughs> switch, you are kind, you are smart, and you are important. And you should work. Great. Actually, speaking of someone say you should ask Dan to try and make it work. Um, let's find out. You have no pants? Yeah, because Christine told me to take my pants off so that I could get stuff from her island, but... Appears to not be working. So... Am I streaming later? We're gonna play The Sims 2 later. Um, we're gonna play The Sims 2 later. Very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Oh my god, it just started downpouring. Remember how a second ago it was so bright in here that it was like making the background look weird? Now it's downpouring. Of course it is. Welcome to Florida. When we're we playing Sims, we're gonna play Sims um, at the regular time, so in about five hours. Probably. So. Florida is funny. It's been raining so much the past few days. I kind of love it. <sighs> Alright. Donate that. I gotta donate a few other things. That will be good. Make a donation. This. Oh, those three are not needing to be donated. That's good, I can get money from them. So that's a win. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Are we giving up? Uh, I was gonna try it. People said my hotspot, hotspot might need a few minutes. So I was just gonna try and donate stuff and then see if I could fix it, but maybe I'll try and fix it now. Um, and if it doesn't work this time, then I give up. Um, uh, for the kiwi from a kiwi, um, oh my god, because the Miami Zoo has apologized and ended the terrible exhibit where people could pet a kiwi. Kiwis are nocturnal and very shy and a national treasure of New Zealand. My god, I didn't know about that. About that zoo in Miami having that. That's horrifying. Well, I'm glad that they're stopping that. That's just really upsetting. I, did, I didn't know about that. Um, I'm really glad that they're stopping it. <sighs> okay, well, it's not working, Christine, so... Um, switch doesn't work. <laughs> I think we might have to give up. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, next time, next time, or maybe at some point, like, later this week, Christine, after I set up my thingy, we can, we can do it. I'm sad. This is the worst. <laughs> What's not working? The internet. I've been having such a hard time. Um, I've been having such a hard time with this. All right, welcome to Nook's Cranny. Spring Sims is in his Teletubbies costume. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's kind of iconic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, all right. <laughs> Any oh, that's a little yellow chair. That's good. Um, that's nice. Wally the blanket cat. Thank you for the five dollars. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so glad that it's raining right now. This is excellent vibes. I'm having a great time. Um, anything? Oh, yellow balloon. That could be nice for my yellow island. <laughs> Ashton, thank you so much for that donation to St. Jude also. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Okay, let's go see... <gasps> Yellow floor! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Life is good! 
cozy gaming vibes. Yeah, seriously, it's good. It's nice vibes. Um, do I have any area concepts planned for the new island? No, we've just been trying to get through like the building of everything. We haven't actually thought about like what we're gonna what we're gonna put. Aside from like a lemonade stand, that's the only idea we have. Why do I want everything yellow? Because we're gonna it's we're just gonna try and have it all yellow island. That's the goal. We want it to be all yellow everywhere. I'm working on it, look. Yes. <laughs> Yes! Okay, let me put this stuff in storage, too. Um, I have a chair. That could be good. Yay. Hold on. Let me try and, like, adjust this. Um, I can put that over there. Um, put that further back too. Could probably put your pants back on. Yeah, I need to get my stuff back. Tobia, thank you for the $20 donation to St. Jude. Also, thank you so much, you guys. I really, really appreciate that. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Gotta get all my stuff. And then we'll probably go to... Um, I don't know. I guess I need to go... I have a lot of stuff I need to do for... All these, um... Houses that we're trying to decorate. So we can get the lots built. Um, pick that up. 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 Okay. Um... Let's go and see um, what else do we need to make. I guess I need to pick up some more pears. We need to go chop some trees and stuff too. Um, Ali, the goal for today, we just restarted. So right now, goal, I'm trying to get the, the new houses built. The like three houses, the three plots. I'm going to try and finish crafting this stuff for them. We just placed them, so I would like to get them finished crafting. That's my goal. Um, okay, what else do we got? A couple more of those. Um, it's Kale that got reset for Delios. We did it last week, last Wednesday. We reset my green island. Now it's gonna be all yellow. <laughs> the island is called Banana. And everything's going to be yellow on it, is my goal. Okay, let's see. The Doritos ad isn't helping you with your hunger from the bagel talk earlier. I know, I'm still hungry from that. Oh, I don't have any stone on me. Oops. Oops. No, I actually didn't end up making the banana bread yesterday, Abby. I meant to, and then I got distracted uh, with the donation rewards. <laughs> so, <laughs> I never actually did it. Um, you're on your fourth ad, save me? Oh my goodness. That's rough. Um, Ansley, for your Nana and your Papa. Uh, but also for your father-in-law, who's finally cancer-free with the $15. Thank you so much. That is so generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let me get these pears grabbed. Let me get a bunch of these, like, items as well. So we can do all of our crafting. All right. Um, what else do I need to make? I made the pear wardrobe and the pear bed. I need to make a pot. I need a hay bed, a swinging bench, a barrel, a bunch of wooden block stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, lots of crafting to do. I made two of them. Three of them I've made. All right, let's craft. I want the pot first. Oh, I might make another ax too. There we go. Why Prime doesn't auto resubscribe you? Do you know why, Christy? It's because it loses them money. <laughs> so Prime doesn't like auto resub because it costs Twitch and Amazon money. So they have it only last 30 days and then not auto renew. So that way they hope that you'll forget to renew it. Um, that's the truth of it, which kind of stinks to be honest. Um, I need a hay bed. 
Oh, don't have any weeds. I need a swinging bench. Um, I need a wooden block, stereo, and table. I need a barrel. Joke's on them, I don't forget to renew. There you go. Um, make a barrel. Yeah, they don't want to make it easy. Only things they're going to auto-renew are things that make Twitch money, right? <laughs> Unfortunate, but true. Um, yeah, we're trying to get the new villagers' houses built right now. Um, at the moment. So that's what we're up to. Trying to build these things. Am I going to be doing The Sims 2 later? I think we're just going to play... Um, um, I don't know. I might play with like one of the pre-made Sims. I think. Um, I think that could be kind of fun. I need to make a... Well, I need some more wood anyway. Um, so we can go work on that. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna play Sims 2 later, which will be fun. Um, and then we're gonna raid, um, my friend Avery. You guys probably know, uh, Little Seahub, but she's doing the finale of her Just Dance-a-thon, um, today from St. Jude at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, which is usually when I get off stream, which is so cool. So we're gonna stream on purpose um, and, and get off like right when she's starting so that we can go over and raid her because she's doing her like live event from the hospital, uh, which is gonna be just so amazing. So I wanna make sure that we're there and we can watch it later. So um, I'm, I'm literally, usually I stream in the morning on Wednesdays, you know, I'm streaming later again on purpose just so I can like remind you all to go watch it. <laughs> um, that is my plan. I'm pretty excited about it though. Um, all right, let's keep chopping some more wood. Exciting. After the stream, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna stream in like five hours again. Um, and we're gonna raid Avery then, so. Um, you started playing Just Dance because I raided her? Oh, I'm glad! Just Dance is pretty fun. Um, it is pretty fun. Yeah, there's a money tree, Jenny, but my inventory, I think, is almost- Oh, it's not full. I thought it was full, so I couldn't do it, but it's not. It's not. Let's try that. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Uh, Drew, another donut while you make your coffee because you're not spending any money buying it. Thank you for the $5. And Angela with the $5 as well. You guys, we're getting really close to $318,000 raised for St. Jude. That's so cool. Um, it's the spirit of Just Dance that counts. You don't need to be good. Oh yeah, Just Dance can be kind of hard. I honestly, I've never played Just Dance, actually. I love watching Avery do it. Um, probably should give it a go. Okay. 81,000, not bad. Not bad. Um, let's grab this. Dr. Gluon did a Just Dance Room while I got back. It was the wild, uh, the funniest thing ever. That's so cool. I didn't know that he did that. That's fun. Um, oh, Joni, I dig the holes around the rocks because it stops me from like jumping forward um, or jumping back, I mean, when you're hitting it, it like hits you back. So I dig the holes so it doesn't hit me back, basically. Um, it helps. Oh, I don't have a thingy. I didn't get it. Um, get so anxious and self-conscious to play Just Dance. Yeah, I think that I would be really self-conscious playing Just Dance too. Gets you more stuff. Yeah, you can hit all eight of the rocks that way. Otherwise you can't. So it's pretty good. Um, it helps so that you can hit all eight of them. Oh, I need to get weeds too, don't I? Let me pick these all up. Um, you can hit the rocks eight times, so. If you don't, then it, when it's hitting you back, uh, if you don't dig the holes, I mean, when it's hitting you back, you might not get the full eight hits, so. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Have I caught a snail yet? Yeah, but I don't think I have a, yeah, I don't have a, um, thingy and net on me right now. I saw it on the rock, but I didn't, I don't think I have a net, so I can't get it. Unfortunately. Um, Okay. Grab all the rest of these. Um, yeah, wearing a robe. I know that the bell is triple if you bury them in the shining hole, but I don't really bother um, 
with it right now because uh, it makes no sense, but I just feel like I need, um, I feel like I, I, I'm not gonna be playing long enough to get it back today and stuff, so. This way, hopefully, I'll be able to get the thingy paid off. Um, okay, I think, um, I would like to put, wait, what items do you need? You need the swinging bench, the barrel, and the hay bed. Swinging bench, barrel, and I don't have the hay bed that I need. <laughs> That's okay, I'll get it. It's raining in real life and it's raining in my game right now. No, okay, I would I would say I absolutely did not catch up on the sleep that I missed from the 24 hour stream. I am exhausted. <laughs> Doing that stream has thrown off my entire week. When I woke up this morning, I was so tired. <laughs> it's been rough, it's gonna be rough. It's okay, it's okay. Rise and grind. Last week of the fundraiser. We got this. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Um, okay. Jump across. You're coming to Orlando next week to go to Disney? Oh, that's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Um, Kayla, you have to sleep. I got, I'm streaming twice today. <laughs> yeah, I saw the bottle. I gotta go over there and get it. I wanted to make sure I grabbed this stuff before I forgot, though. Um, I didn't mean to hit that. Honey the Pimple, thank you for the $5 from Honey. Oh, cute dog. Very generous dog. Um, okay. Yeah, the goal number is how much we raised last year. Yeah, it isn't like a random number, I promise. It's how much we raised last year. Um, all right. Let's see. I should have enough of those to make the thingy. No, not yet. Maybe not. Um, okay. Yeah, Swinton, I stream every day. Um, well, I don't stream on Sundays most times, um, but I stream six days a week usually, so. Um, most times I don't stream on Sundays. Um, I picked all of these building houses in the sims like the alphabet. Yeah, I've seen some people do stuff like that. Um, kind of chaotic, <laughs> to be honest. It's kind of fun. Um, Want to play Dreamlight Valley again? Um, probably, I mean, I assume there's gonna be a Dreamlight Valley update within a couple weeks because the, um, the star path just ended. So I wouldn't be surprised if they had an update kind of soon. So I'll probably play whenever that is. Um, okay, let's go. I wanna grab this. Gonna be one in June, that's what I figured, Cammy. Yeah, that makes sense. I hope there's one in June. <laughs> um, hey, it's your finals week. You got this, you got the, oh no, wait. Oh, you said final week, let's go. Probably about me in my final week of the fundraiser. <laughs> Sorry, you said final. Singular, not finals. But it probably is people in chat's finals week. In which case, you got this, besties. <laughs> this is the final week. Next Wednesday is the last day of our fundraiser. Um, which is wild. Okay, let's grab this. 5,000 bills! Not bad. Not bad. Um, we're getting more Nook Miles too, which helps. Feeling good. Um, all right, let's go do some crafting. Went by so fast, you swear? I know, I feel like that too. Um, let's go see, tomorrow's the last day of your finals. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Medusa, the goal is how much money we raised for St. Jude in our fundraiser last year. Um, so we have, the, the goal is, is the amount we raised last year. We're trying to beat it. The original goal was 300,000. Um, but now that we passed that, can we beat last year? <laughs> That's the goal, so. Um, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Um, wait, why am I doing this? Sign off. I wanted to craft some things. You're having a courthouse wedding on Friday. Oh, congratulations. That's so exciting. Um, congrats on your wedding. All right, I will make this super cute lily wreath. Um, and then I will also make 
I need the hay bed as well. Um, I think I made the wooden block stereo, so I need the wooden block table. Wooden block table and birdhouse are the next two things that we need. Oh, I also need this simple bed. Maybe I'll make that first. Um, keep crafting. Um, birdhouse? I can make that. Oh, my inventory's full! Ugh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we try again. We try again. Tomorrow's your first day as a social worker since graduating. Oh, Catiella, congratulations. That's so exciting. I'm so proud of you. Um, American schools get out early, you get out in July in the UK. Yeah, we also start back a lot earlier than you. Um, Florida gets out way earlier than a lot of other places do, just in general as well. Um, I know that like here, um, a lot of our schools end at like the very end of May, beginning of June um, here, and m end of a May mostly in Florida, which is pretty early for a lot of places, but then we start back sooner, so. Um, check interior items. Check exterior items. You need the swinging bed, or the hay bed, I mean. Um, but yeah, further up north, I think they have um, slightly different schedules. So, this is finished. Check exterior items. Yay! Yay! Um... This one needs the iron garden chair and table. It needs the lily wreath. Let me see if I can put those in there. Check interior items. Submit items. Okay. Got it. And then you also need the iron garden chair and table. I think I only have one of them. I have the iron garden chair. Okay. Bear with me. Um, you need the bed as well. Submit items. Okay. Good. Got it. <laughs> Got it. All is well. Everything's fine. Um, let's go back. Unless, maybe I should hit that. What Sims Pack would you love to see next? But you know what, Ven? People ask me this all the time. I have a lot of thoughts of like things that I would like to see. My, probably my, like, number one most desired gameplay feature now is hotels. I would really, 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 really like to see a hotel pack for The Sims 4. That's, like, super high on my list. Um, I would love that if they added hotels. So, um, that's my goal. <laughs> I want to go on vacation. I want to run a hotel like in The Sims 3. I think that would be so cool. Um... Yes, yeah, City Skylines did just get a Hotels DLC. I saw that. You want to build apartments? Oh, I would love if we could do that. I My thought is like, because we already got a whole apartment pack. I fear that ship has sailed. But whatever happened to horses? Okay, the horse thing was a joke. <laughs> I would be excited if they added horses, but that isn't my like number one request. Um for the sims. I would be excited about it, but I wouldn't say it's like top of my list most desirable. But yeah, I would love to have some way to make apartments. I just feel like it's so unlikely now after we've already gotten like the apartment pack, you know? Um, but I don't know. Maybe someday. Um, I haven't seen the donation bar move. Let's go. And we got Sophie as well, both of the donations. I mean, to be fair, the donation bar is very big now, so. <laughs> no, but uh, if you want to donate, you guys, we are really close to $318,000 raised for St. Jude, so. Um, reset my island again? No, I uh, feel I reset my island last week. This is my second time playing it since I reset, so we're super early game um, at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I would have liked if we had gotten um, some more apartments and like for other packs. I think that Del Sol Valley was probably a really good opportunity to have some apartments, but didn't do it. Um, yeah, I've never reset my island before uh, this week, 
so. All right, let's make, um, oh, I gotta make this, that's good, water pump. I also need a log stool and a log, log garden lounge and a classic pitcher and a wooden chair, <laughs> so many things. Oh my, which one is Delta Valley? It's the one that came with um, Get Famous. So, um, let's see, I need this wooden block table. What else do we need? I want um, to have, I need this, I don't have enough wood for those, but I do have enough wood for these. So I'll make those too. Um, Haley Honeybee with the dollar trade, thank you so much. Can I tell you about the process for coming up with the St. Jude CC? Yeah, um, the CC that we did for um, the St. Jude stuff was actually items that exist. Oh, my pockets are too full. They're actually items that exist in real life. Um, the It's pretty cool because uh, St. Jude during Play Live, they give out a couple like um, rewards to people who fundraise, almost like as an incentive to have more people fundraise. Um, so it's like a t-shirt, uh, they've got a mouse pad, they always have this purple hoodie. This year there's a backpack, there's a skateboard deck and an LED light. And I reached out to Dika and I was like, hey, I kind of want to make the shirt to give to people. And he was like, oh, I'll just make all of it. <laughs> so he made all of it. Um, and that's how we have that as a donation incentive. So it's quite cool. Um, Lauren, for your grandfather, thank you for the donation to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Um, does that mean you get 300 backpack? No, <laughs> I'll get the one backpack. Um, it'll be cool though. All right, let me put a couple of these things that we don't need anymore away. Save us some inventory space. Um, that'll be good. Um, and then we can go finish crafting. We're almost there. I just need to get some more, um, did I chop these trees yet? No. I need some more regular wood. No, unfortunately, Sky, you can't have CC on console. It doesn't work. Um, that's just a console limitation in general. You can't really mod consoles like that for the most part. You can't mod the Sims on console. So it doesn't work. Um, but can I ask what you were going to do with a skateboard deck? I've honestly been wondering. I don't know, I guess display it or something. <laughs> um, Nell, in memory of your high school friend, Catherine, thank you for that huge donation to St. Jude too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right. But yeah, I don't know about the skateboard deck either. <laughs> I don't know. It's cool. The, um, the, those items are not really, uh, the incentive for me to stream for St. Jude. I suppose that's just a fun little feature, but, um, it's, it's more so, uh, you know, I have, I have different reasons to be fundraising, I suppose. <laughs> just gonna have to learn to skateboard? Yeah, apparently. Um, okay. <laughs> Let me grab all of these things until we break this. We need more wood. You need so much wood. Um, no purple, I went live at the regular time today. I stream at 9 a.m. Eastern time uh, on Wednesdays, so. Um, I wonder what time zone are you in? Maybe did like a clock change situation, perhaps? I don't know. Infinite wood? No, you get three per, um, per tree per day when you hit them. For your Aunt Iris with a $20 to St. Jude. We got Veronica with the $5. We got Mrs. James in memory of your neighbor and childhood best friend. Thank you so much for those donations, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. <sighs> is this part of Play Live or is it different? This is Play, like the people that do fundraisers in May are like fundraising as part of the Play Live event for St. Jude, so yeah. Um, yes, indeed. All right, let me grab this log stool. And then I wanted to hopefully have enough to make um, a couple more things. I was hoping that I'd be able to make the chair that I need. 
And then I made the picture, right? So I think it's just the chair. And then I wanted to get myself, because I still have not made myself a DIY workbench. Um, okay. Oh, thought I started at 10. Yeah, no, I started at 9 on Wednesdays. Easy to, to make the mistake when you've got like exams and stuff going on, you know? I understand. I'll be live again in about four and a half hours after this, friend. I usually stream um, at 4 p.m. Eastern time, so we'll do that later. Um, okay, let's go place all these things down. I gotta give you your indoor stuff. Check interior items. Oh, Allie, thank you for the $50 donation. Um, oh, you adopted a one and a half year old golden retriever from the vet you work at yesterday. She was rescued from a puppy mill on Saturday. So this is honor of Finley um, with the $50. Oh, Allie, thank you so much. Um, Iris with the $5. Uh, Iris the cat went to the vet today and she was very good. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, that's so great. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Um, all right, I got to, um, place, it's a water pump, the log stool, and the log garden lounge that I got to place over here. That is the goal. Um, and then, ah, not that. Wrong thing. We're going to play Sims 2 on stream later. <laughs> There's my log stool. Good. I will check the exterior. Gemma, thank you for the five dollars. Um, the schedule on Twitch says I start at ten. It shouldn't. Unless somehow it's like outdated from the time change, but it should still be 9 a.m. Eastern time. No, it says nine. The schedule on Twitch will say your time zone. Um, so I don't know if that's your time zone, but um, I shouldn't have changed. Okay, I have the wooden block table. Oh, I never made the rest of the outdoor stuff. I need an iron garden table and the birdhouse. That's right. How did I forget about that? Um, I have this. I need an iron garden table and a birdhouse. That I can do. Iron garden table, birdhouse. <laughs> All right, Gemma, thank you for the $5 to sing to also. Thank you so much. Um, all right, and iron garden table. I don't have enough iron nuggets. Oh no. I have to go to tomorrow for that. Oh, the plot is sold. Oh, should we check who it is? Oh my God, ready? We're gonna let him autofill. Three, two, one. Cranston. I show you. Um, you know, this doesn't really fit my Yellow Island vibes. I'm not exactly that happy about this, but it'll do. <laughs> Aaliyah, thank you for the donation in honor of your favorite elementary school teacher. Thank you so much. And Meg with the $20 as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Cranston, he's not yellow, but his eyes are yellow, so he could be worse. Could be worse, it's fine. Um, okay. Shall we just go to tomorrow then? Try and get some more iron? I think that would be good. I think that would be good. We can do it. All right, you wanna see all the autofills? Yeah, I'd like to finish all the autofills today too. That would be fun. Um, okay, system settings, system, date and time, the 27th. Yeah, but it's okay, because we're gonna wanna replace these. These first three villagers, the first five villagers, in fact, have sort of generic houses, and then your later ones get cooler houses. So I'm good with like auto-filling the first few, because that way we can replace them and not like spend all kinds of tickets and time looking for yellow villagers that are going to have not their real house. In early game Animal Crossing, the first villagers have like kind of weenie houses um, with not that much stuff in them because they're trying to like make it less so you feel less bad about your house have nothing in it because you haven't like unlocked a bunch of furniture yet. 
So they don't have their like real house until the sixth villager onward. The first five are all the same. So like the lazy villagers all have the same house. So everybody will have the same first lazy villager house. Um, they're not their real ones. So, and like your starters, you know, they have like no furniture. Yeah. Um, no, you can't update their house by complaining to Isabel. You can update your house by uh, like finishing the DLC and unlocking it, but you can't um, just talk to Isabel to change it. I'm just gonna have them leave though. <laughs> you can, you've done it by complaining to Isabel? Is that new? Cause I don't think I've heard about that. Um, only after you finish 30 houses in the DLC. Only with the DLC, there you go. Poi still stands, with the DLC you have to fix it. <laughs> um, so you can complain to revert it back to the original. Um, but, Garden Fairy, thank you for the five dollars. That makes you pay with Happy Home Paradise, so. Um, I got my denim pants. Only your starters have super generic houses. Yeah, Kimmy, um, the, but then like your next three villagers, you know how there's like the sort of pinky one with like the little furniture and the floral wallpaper? Um, that's like one of the starters that's default. So there's, there's like three houses that you'll get for your next three villagers that are all the same. Um, yes, this is what I needed. Yellow swimsuit. Very good. Um, I don't really want to waste money on stuff yet. So, anyway, that's how it works though. Okay, we shall go after this to talk to Tom Nook and then hit some of our rocks is my goal. Um, a purple turtle, five dollars um, for the children so they can get their treatment and get their education and do well on their exams. Oh, thank you for the donation. I'm sorry you had a hard time with your exam. Uh, thank you for the donation. And we got Anonymous um, with the $10 in honor of Hank Green, who says, I can't get much this year, but I feel compelled to do what I can, especially of Hank Green's uh, recent diagnosis. Hank Green has been one of your biggest scientific influences and brings a lot of light to the world. We're all in this together. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that. <sighs> Absolutely breaks my heart um, to see Hank going through this, truly. Um, and $10, by the way, is a lot of money. <laughs> Don't go around saying you can't give much. $10 is a lot of money. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's finish this. We're almost there. TFTBA, thank you guys. Um, almost there, almost there. <laughs> we gotta just get a little bit more iron and then I'll be good. Okay, perfect. I think we should have enough to, maybe not actually. I don't know. Hmm. Let's go check, actually. We'll see how much we got. I want to finish making these so bad. <laughs> DFTBA stands for Don't Forget to Be Awesome. It's kind of, um, it's like a little nerd fighter thing if you're a fan of the vlog brothers and like hank and john hank uh, john hank <laughs> hank and john green's channel <laughs> um you might have heard about it but it's kind of like a little motto you know um okay um let's see i would like to check nook shopping please anything good that is yellow oh denim skirt actually is kind of good I'll probably take that. Um, I can take that, I can take that. John Hank, <laughs> there you go. Niffler, thank you for the $5 to St. Jude and for being so kind. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Yeah, 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 I thought I finished one of them. Did I not? Let me go check. I thought it was done. Oh no. Really, SG? That's amazing. That's so cool. Um, also, Charlie with the $50 donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. That is so generous. You guys, um, we're almost, almost so close to 300 Oh wait, I meant to bury that. Oh, oops. I ate it instead. 
<laughs> yeah, Nikki, they're both authors. Um, you probably have heard, uh, maybe you're thinking of the ones that, um, that John Green has written. Um, things like uh, The Fault in Our Stars, uh, Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns. Maybe you've heard of any of those books. Um, those are the ones that were written by um, John Green, so you might be thinking of those. Um, but they've both written books, so. <laughs> My audio is delayed with the camera? Are you sure? And Hank Green has a book called An Absolutely Remarkable Thing that maybe you've heard about. Um, Alice! Oh! Alice was one of my the first five villagers that I ever had on my first ever island. That makes me happy. <laughs> that makes me really happy. I used to have Alice. Uh, but yeah, he's written um, two books, but you could be thinking of those too. Um, Mad Flat, in honor of your favorite author slash educator, John Hank. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, what did I need to make? I needed to make the iron garden table. So the last thing. Alice kind of fits the vibes a little bit. Oh, I needed the birdhouse too. I have that, right? Yeah, birdhouse. Um... All right, we are done. Check exterior items. Oh, I'll show you Alice, hold on. That way you can see. I forgot, I showed you guys the other one, but I didn't show you Alice. Uh, the next villager that we just unlocked that randomly auto-filled, who isn't as yellow as I would like, but will do for now. And it's kind of cute to have her back because she was one of my first villagers. This is Alice. Um, and then we're about to get a third one. I finished! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> John Hank with the dollar who says DFDBA. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I wonder if that plot will autofill tomorrow then. Yeah. Um, who's our first? We got Cranston first. Aaron with the $80 donation to St. Jude. Aaron, thank you so much. Thanks to you, we just passed $318,000 raised for St. Jude. <laughs> If I go inside, it'll autofill. Oh, okay, good. I'll go in and come back out. Um, Red is here? Is Red here? Oh my. Um, and Clara, in honor of your grandma, thank you so much. So Red should be walking around somewhere, you think? Or unless Red is on your island. Should Red, I don't, is Red gonna be here already? Um, okay, everything's finished. Everything's finished. Um, Clara Berry with the $5 again, thank you so much. Oh, his icon's on the map, that's good. I'll have to look around for him. He's in the corner. Isn't, I swear, the first time he comes, doesn't he just like stand, like walk around a little bit? But I guess we shall see. Um, the first time he comes, I think he walks around. And today should be the first time he's here. But his boat still is there, just closed. Yeah, so he should be here walking around somewhere this time. Because um, it's the first time we've seen him on this island. Um, all right, well, we'll look. <laughs> um, Ramen, in honor of Technoblade, we miss him every day. Technoblade never dies. Ramen, thank you, thank you, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Um, thank you so much. Um, okay. Let's see. Last one, ready? Gabby. Oh, that'll be kind of fun. I've never had Gabby. She's kind of cute to be honest. Look, this is Gabby. I like that. I'll enjoy having Gabby for a little bit. That'll be good, okay. I feel happy with these autofills. I feel good about that. All right, let's go back and try and figure out where Red is. Uh oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. <laughs> Sydney, happy birthday. Thank you for the $5 to say June. Yeah, it definitely could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. There's Red. Hello, neighbor. What are you up to? 
Hello, neighbor. <laughs> well, well, you from around here? The name's Red. I work in sales. And I am sunny. It is sunny outside again. The storm has truly passed. <laughs> All right, you're gonna sell me some art. This guy can't be trusted. I'm in though. I'm ready. Um. <laughs> oh, now what? Do I have to go meet him at his boat? Is that what's happening to me right now? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Let me give you this first. My little fun blathers. Do I just leave the holes empty? Well, yeah, they'll fill tomorrow, and I'm gonna time travel, so... I don't need to worry about it that much. I would like to assess fossils, please. One, two, three, four. The first time you saw Red, you ignored him because Isabel told me he was sketchy? <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Okay, um, I would like to make a donation. Go away, go away, go away. Yay. Splendid. <laughs> oh my god! My sister just sent me the funniest picture. My sister's like going through baby pictures and she just sent me this picture. She said, ew, OMG, I look like a fish. <laughs> I'm trying to send it um, in my mods chat so I can pull it up. <laughs> Why does she look like that? No, look, look, look. She does look like a fish. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. She does look funny though. <laughs> Me and Brett are cuter than her. At least in this photo. Um, wow. <laughs> you were blonde? Yeah, I had lighter hair when I was younger. My dad is blonde as well. Um, we all had light hair when we were younger though. Um, but anyway. <laughs> what a picture of her. <laughs> She's funny. Anyway, um. My smile didn't change at all. Yeah, I look, I look like me. Um, shit, I wasn't happy about photos. Yeah, truly. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Let's go donate. You think Brett looks like my dad? I think he does too. Um, they do look similar. Oh my gosh, Nadia with the $150. Um, for the families who should never have to worry about paying for life-saving treatment, uh, who says, P.S. It's my birthday! Happy birthday, Nadia! That's so exciting. Um, that is so exciting. All right. Wait, I didn't mean to- Oh my god, I didn't mean to buy that. I meant to sell that. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Well, I'll sell it now, I guess. That's annoying. <laughs> I just don't want it. I'll sell it straight back. <sighs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> My pick is so cute. That is a cute picture of me. I like that one. Um. Okay. Um, let me put some of these things away and then I'll go talk to Red. And I would like to pay enough money to... Um, to Mr. Tom Nook to get my... Uh, House upgraded, I think, is my goal. Pay off the first little bit of the storage fees. Okay. Put this away, put this away, put this away, put this away. Actually, that yellow striped wetsuit might be good to carry around with me. I could probably sell a few of these red things that I don't want to. <laughs> Anything that we could sell that we don't need that isn't yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And I'll carry this around. Okay. 
<laughs> Yay. Yeah, we'll do the virtual tour of St. Jude again. Um, we'll do it next week during like the last week of the fundraiser before we play some Sims. We got Alice, Gabby, and Cranston, Kelly. <laughs> Alice, Gabby, and Cranston. Not my uh, fave. Happy about the other two, though. All right. I would like to get rid of a few of these things that are not yellow. Wait, I don't know which wetsuit is my yellow one. We're gonna play Among Us on Friday, so in just a couple days we'll play Among Us again. Yeah. Um, that is the plan. Okay, that's the one. That's the one. I'm pretty excited about it though. I'm looking forward to some Among Us time. Okay, let's get this sold. We'll go talk to Red, and then we shall figure it out. Every time you say Gabby, I get caught off guard. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm scaring all the Gabbies in chat by bringing up Gabby, huh? Um, oh. Yay. Message in a bottle. Iron shelf, oh, I like that. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's go to red, shall we? Shall we? I will go up. I think he's over here. I think he's over here. Um, no. <laughs> he's on the other side, apparently. Wait, let me look at the map quickly. Yeah, on the far left side. Whoops. Whoops. Back this way. Okay. Here we are. Hello, my friend. I'm ready. Scary. Ah, Sunny, I'm so glad you made it. So here's the pitch, ready? At Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, we sell only the finest. And there's nothing finer than fine art and rare furniture. Mm-hmm. Give me one piece of art per day. Yep, yep, I understand. I understand. This is yellow. This is the stupid amp that I bought and wasted money on, but this one's actually yellow. Hmm, what should we get? I think the Mona Lisa is always real, right? Should I pick the Mona Lisa first? Hmm. No, Mona Lisa has- her eyebrows are weird sometimes. Her- she looks real in that one though, right? Um... Everything is real the first time. Oh, really? That's right. This is the real Mona Lisa. Her eyebrows aren't messed up. Got it. Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, after this, I bought this. Oh, I got my first art from Red. Yay. Um, I want to know how we got the real Mona Lisa. <laughs> That's a good question. I'd like to know that too. Um, yay, points. I think what I'll do last is kind of run around and catch some little guys. Um, so we can make a little bit more money and pay off the house, and then we'll probably get off stream, I think. Um, I think that is my plan. That's not new. I have seen that guy who's traveling the world to go to all those museums and see all the art that Animal Crossing has in it. I have seen that. I have seen that. Um, okay. Let's run around and see. When are we next playing Not So Very? Um, probably in like the beginning of June we'll play. Lots of stuff going on with the fundraiser, so. <laughs> hey Nikki, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. All right. 
I'm gonna catch a bunch of these little things. I'm gonna get a bunch of money. I'm gonna be so happy. And then we'll come back and we'll stream again in like four hours exactly. <laughs> We're gonna play the 100 baby challenge tomorrow, Rainbow, is the plan. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we'll play 100 baby, so. Um, any other little guys? Yes. Good. We're gonna play The Sims 2 tonight. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, I think we've had 15 babies in the baby challenge. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Um, okay. I will grab, I will grab this as well. Hopefully we get some money that we can... No, these are all things I already have. I guess that's good because I can sell them, but... I don't think any of these guys are that, uh... Expensive. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna stream twice today. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'll keep the names suggestion list once the fundraiser's over. Absolutely, Mike. That's the plan. That was the whole reason we made it, so... Um, okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep playing after the fundraiser, don't worry. Don't worry. We're not gonna stop playing the baby challenge until we finish it, hopefully. Um, oh, did my valley tweet it? What did they post? <gasps> Make your way to the familiar but forgotten places in update five coming this June. They tweeted this picture. Interesting. We were talking about how there was going to be an update in June for this game. <laughs> and now here it is. Um, I'm so curious about what it's going to be. That's going to be fun. Exciting. Was that new? No. It wasn't. Yeah, hopefully it's going to be an update to the, uh, the scary forgotten land so that way we can um, get rid of the green fire. That is the dream. <laughs> Something for the Forgotten Lands is definitely the dream. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely stream that whenever, um, oh, that's new, yay. Um, we'll definitely stream that when we, uh, whenever the update comes out, so. Sorry, I gotta stop spam clicking that. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Okay, couple more things. I hope you guys had fun today. I love playing Animal Crossing. It really is um, such good vibes. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, oh, Goose, uh, Joe Goose with the 482 to St. Jude. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. In honor of your grandma and uncle, and shout out to your oncologist. Thank you so much for doing that. You are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so generous and cool. I mean, this means so much to me. I can't believe that we can do this together. It, like, the fact that we can come on and we can, like, play Animal Crossing. We've raised, like, $3,000 today for St. Jude. Just by, like, hanging out and playing some Animal Crossing this morning. <laughs> How is that even possible? It's so cool. It's, like, it's, it's such a magical thing that um, this community can do. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, all right. I shall grab this as well. How many more should we go to? Scallop! Yay, it's my first one! Oh, this is exciting. Hi, bestie. I haven't seen my friend yet. You can have it. Yay! Left me a cool recipe. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. Feel this. It's not all about the bells, man. There's also weeding and fishing and crafting and bug catching. Wrap your noodle around that. Actually, I'm sorry to say this, but today is all about the money. This is a charity fundraiser. It is all about the money. Pascal, I don't know what to tell you, but it is all about the money. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, what are the little daily tasks that we have? 
why did you not post a YouTube video for three days? Bestie! I missed one upload. I missed one upload. It was one day. Um, and I've been busy. <laughs> Because I've been doing this huge charity fundraiser, so I've been really overwhelmed, you know, um, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> oh my, um, let me make... I've been streaming every day. I did not miss a single stream, if that makes you feel better. Um, bear with me, okay? Um... The fact that I didn't miss a single upload up until yesterday this month is actually, in my opinion, very impressive. <laughs> if you have any idea how much work I'm gonna do this month, bear with me. We got this. Everything's fine. Um, everything's fine. Um, okay. Let's get a little net quickly and then I'll get the bugs and I'll go donate them. And then I will sell them. Okay, net. I don't want to scare away the bug that's on this. Yay! Bug, you're gonna have sushi for dinner? Oh, nice! I think I might order pizza for dinner tonight. I would like to do that. I deserve it. <laughs> that's my plan. Hello, butterfly. Thank you. Pizza good choice? Yes. Think you could have rested even more? Oh, well, I, I didn't miss an upload because I was resting. <laughs> I was trying to get ahead. I only didn't upload yesterday because Dan couldn't get it edited in time because um, he had a root canal yesterday. So, actually, <laughs> you can blame Dan's teeth for why I didn't upload yesterday. Um, I still recorded and stuff though. Um, get this, yay. Um, does Dan always edit your videos? Yeah, he edits pretty much all of them. Um, I certainly did not have time to edit yesterday myself, because I've been trying to get ahead with recording and with all the streaming and stuff, so. I don't even have time to breathe right now with the fundraiser going on, so. <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, where is it? Did it go up there? Oh my gosh. Um. Let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. No, 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 please, please, please be fast, be fast, be fast. I want it. No! Yay. Okay. Um. Bamboo Grove Wall. Um. Mermaid Chair. That's nice. That is nice. Probably gonna get pizza tonight too for dinner. Oh good, I'm glad. How's your inventory bigger than normal? Oh, you can buy from the little like nook stop thingy in resident services, you can pay for an upgrade to your inventory size. So you can increase it. Um, which is pretty good. Um, okay. I will grab all of this. Yeah, it can be even bigger than mine right now. Mine isn't fully upgraded yet. You can make it even bigger. So, not bad. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are making me hungry. We've been talking about food a lot today. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Your name is Kayla? Oh, my name is Kayla. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go donate these couple things. Um, I had to catch five bugs. That's pretty good. Um, it wants me to water some plants. Do I hear a balloon again? I do. I'm never gonna leave. Maybe I won't get the house upgraded today. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. Popcorn machine. It's pink, not yellow, but that's fine. That is fine by me. One. Oh my god, these like early watering cans suck. 
think I had to water like eight plants or something. Never mind. <laughs> I might have gotten points for breaking the tool. Uh, wearing a robe. Thank you for the five dollars and the kind words. Thank you so much. That was really sweet. Yeah, we can customize it eventually. Just not yet. Um. All right. In here. Very, very nice. Dan ordered groceries. I don't know what he bought, so we'll see what I'll be able to uh, eat when I eat lunch in a minute. It'll be fun. <laughs> All right. How may you assist you? Uh, make a donation? I have a handful of things for you. Two. Well, I have two things for you. Not that many. <laughs> All right. And then after this, we'll go, we'll um, sell the stuff, and then I'll probably end the stream. This will be good. This will be good. Um, who owns the purple house? Oh, I have my starters. Um, I've got Renee in here. I can show you. Here's Renee. Bestie. Not really my bestie, but you know. Oh, she's crafting. Good job, we came in. What you doing? A wooden waste bin. That's not so bad. I'll learn how to make that. I can do that. Cool. We are not besties. Oh, sorry to Renee and chat. It's just that Renee and Animal Crossing is, um, you know. Yeah, it's good to have a trash can, actually. I'm glad that we got one of those. I didn't have one yet, so. Now I know how to make one. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I have Renee, and then in this house, um, I also have my dear friend, Bill. Sunny, thank you for the $50 to St. Jude. Thank you so much. That's huge, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let me try and get this. I think I just donated one of those, so now I can donate another one. Thank you, Sunny. Seriously, thank you. Um... All right, now I can sell all this and then we'll probably go and find someone to raid, I think. Um, cool. Bill made fun of your New Year's outfit? Well, that's rude. Bill's a bully. He sucks. I'm sorry. Okay. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Yay, money. What do we got? 10,000 bells? Pretty good. Okay, I feel good about today. We made a lot of progress. Um, I am gonna be back here on stream in like four hours um, because we're gonna play some Sims 2 later. So if you're interested, um, we're gonna go over there and, and play some Sims 2 this afternoon. I think um, I would like to go and, oh my God! <laughs> my friend Steven is dressed as a Teletubby and playing Just Dance. I think I know exactly where to go. We're gonna go with my friend Steven. Um, thank you for hanging out. Say hi to Spring Sims for me. Um, <laughs> Steven's a very good friend of mine and he's also raising money for St. Jude, but he's playing Just Dance uh, today. So this will be super fun. Um, have a great rest of your day uh, and I'll see you in about four hours for some more simming. Yeah, okay. Have a good night, everybody. I love and miss you already. Okay, I'm gonna send the raid now. Goodbye. <laughs>